I feel like this time the game's gonna be a lot shorter. Yeah, you think so? Yeah. Let's just keep getting hammered, yeah. guys. Woo. No, it's gonna be shorter because last time we had it, it renewed every time. It switched uh, over. Mm. Yeah. And people were betting aggressively. So like people were like, I bet two, I bet three, instead of like, I bet five or six. Whoa, dude, chill. I bet all the willpower. All in. I bet TD's willpower that I can get control. Are we all here? <laughs> I think so. Um, Everybody here? Roll call. Dude. Yeah. <laughs> the dude is, dude is dead. Dead. Roll call. D. No one <laughs> Rip, dude. Ta-da. TDs. TD banking. He said BRB in the. Oh, did he? What's up, Play. dude? Playing with your Stay TDs. Now, TDs. TDs. 3D no, TDs. Just, just, just the one TD. <laughs> Makes you wish I had three hands for those three TDs. 3D TD. Oh, shoot. I forgot. I already started recording. <laughs> Great. All right. It's John. That's they okay. expect 30 minutes of stuff in the beginning that he needs to cut out. That's all right. I'm usually pretty good, but whatever. I'll just start it now so I don't forget. Really? No. <laughs> Man, the setter's da, da, ass. Da, 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 da. Man, I, I used to love John Cena. Still do. But I used to, too. Oh God, you know, I have that shit muted. I don't think I can listen to five hours of it. <laughs> da, 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 da. I've got your Wonder Wall button ready. Thank you. <laughs> and after all, you're my Wonder Wall. <laughs> it's the uh, <laughs> karaoke version, so you're gonna have to sing the lyrics. Oh. Uh, <laughs> Today, 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 today. It's alright. In the last last group I was playing with for D and D, the lady used to play her. What the hell is it called? The uh, ukulele. The fiddle. The fiddle. Oh, the fiddle. Oh nice. my goodness. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh. I'm I'm having flashbacks now. Oh man. Hey dude. I mean not dude. Hey Sim. Wow. I guess dude too. Oh hey, bro. man. I, I can't hear you. You can't hear me. What? I can't see you. <laughs> What'd you say? Oh, damn it. Okay, okay. Damn me. <laughs> what man? What do you want from me? Damn What'd you me. say? Oh, uh, I'm planning on ending fucking D and D in like two days. Oh shit, fam. <gasps> You want me to burn down the village? Oh, never mind. It's already been done. <laughs> burn down everybody. Just kill everybody. TPK. TPK. In the next game I'm going to be putting out there, it's not a one-shot. It's probably going to be D-Genesis. Degenerates? Yeah. It's all a D-list. <laughs> all the D-list. Did that win? I think it won. I think so too. I hope not. I hope so. I, I, it is. Somehow there's six, six, six individuals out there that want to do the list. It'd be cool, but I already did mine, you know? I think everybody gets one. I haven't got one yet. So I need but I'm to... not you. Why would I vote with you? Because you want me to play. <laughs> Oh, nope. War in Heaven's won. It's six to five. Ah, uh, I'm still in that, so it's okay. What? Yeah, War in Heaven's has six. d has five. My horror setting has two, apparently. That's a Criminal fix. Criminal has one. That's a fix. It is fixed. Highly fixed. To be fair, if he has a... If he removes all the other options, you know, there's three votes who can turn the tide. D-less, d, -less, d -less. See, I thought it was 5 to 5 and 6 to 5. 6 to 9. With D-list. Then, Alright, I'll fix that. Mm -hmm. I'm about to get the Russians involved. The Russians. Yes. The Russians. Come. Dark armor. 
Play with the Facebook. Come. I said comrade. Hello, comrade. My boy, dude. Hello. Hello. Hello, dude. Are you doing introduction? Yes. I am Zoya, the destroyer. Oh, that's a dark move right there. Dark move. Dark oh, move. Yeah. Shit was crisp. I'm gonna have to report you. Hey, listen, <laughs> listen. You ready, guys? You ready, guys? Mm -hmm. I don't have a can to open right now, so. Oh, well, I'm not ready then. I have a glass. If you guys want to wait twenty minutes. Can I'm opener? Ready. I don't have a can to open. Why the fuck you opening cans, dude? For the dock. Open a beer can with a can opener. Oh, a beer room. can, not a fucking like. <laughs> okay. I don't know what else you call them. Nah, no, you're right. A I can mean, of beer. Heard... <laughs> not me. What are you doing? I heard can opener. I'm like, are you gonna hmm. fucking? Huh? All right, fuck it. Let's get a countdown. Let's get this shit started. It's already going, so uh, have fun. Right, give me a countdown. We'll give it a, a timestamp or something. Next week? Thirty. Twenty-nine. Twenty-eight. <laughs> okay. We haven't talked to anybody about Three, it. Three. Let the game begin. Two. One. Go. No. Welcome back to episode two of Everyone is John. We got a new cast today. New faces, That's new voices in our head. <laughs> Why don't you introduce yourselves, starting with you, Sim. I am Donald John. I like to build walls and talk bad about everybody and everything. Follow my Twitter. His Twitter is at real Donald Trump. All right. Oh, Next up, not forget that Matihi. Matihi, you wanna yeah. wanna say hi to the crowd? Yeah, yeah. what's it? What's it? <laughs> so this, I'm fuckboy John. <coughs> I love uh, fucking Stacy's and uh, vaping hard, and also playing my favorite song in the world, but my favorite brand, Wonderwall. And that is an amazing song we all love and cherish. Cause maybe. Awesome. You wanna you wanna say hey to the boys and the girls out there? All right. All right. I'm uh I'm Johnny Dachshund. I just I, I honestly just really 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 like dogs and um honestly they're better than people in many ways and like you know better than me always. <laughs> Johnny Dachshund. <laughs> dogs are John's best friend. And let's wrap it up with the dude. Hello, I'm Johnny Freshwater. I've come to heal you with my words and my music. Peace and love, peace and love. Great. So, we'll begin this one by, uh... Everyone, I want you to whisper me your bid for control over John. Out of ten I'm points, you're right? Out of ten points. You'll serve ten unless you have three skills. And then we'll set the scene, and we'll play it out from there. <laughs> Waiting on Sim. Alright. Don't have all day. Looks like Matihi will be in control for now. <laughs> yes. So let me set the scene for you. You come too, and it's about, I don't know, it's like five, maybe four o'clock in the afternoon. You sit up in your chair. You notice there are a bunch of kids and families barbecuing and swimming in the good old pool. You seem to be surrounded by people having fun and you're not having fun right now oh no John <laughs> we're not having fun what what do you mean we're not having fun I'm at the pool yeah look down do you still have your clothes on John looks down he seems to be shirtless you can see his beer gut but uh, he's wearing some swim trunks right now Good, good job, good job. Okay, uh, now, now, John, uh, you're gonna want to find one sec. A guitar. 
A guitar? What are you talking about? We're at the pool. Are you gonna wanna find- Yeah, but in order to, uh, serenade those ladies, you gotta find a guitar. Go find the guitar! Shit, you're right. Ugh, where do I fucking leave it? Uh, I don't know. Uh, check behind, uh, a truck or something. John begins to walk away from the pool towards the parking lot. There are many vehicles in this parking lot. There are only a couple trucks, though. There's a red one, very large, has a, a Maryland license plate. And there's one from Jersey, blue, and it has a couple dents in the back. Seems to be loaded up with some supplies. All right, John, I want you to break into the truck. There's probably a guitar in there. What? What if someone sees me? It's okay. It's okay. They're all busy with the, uh, busy with uh, getting busy in the pool. It's okay. Come on, do it. All right. Um, if you think there's a guitar in there, I think so. John takes a couple looks around, make sure no one's uh, watching him. How are you gonna break into this truck? Mm, first, I'm gonna try the door, see if it's open. Yeah, John puts his hand on the handle and he pulls. It seems to be locked. Hmm. Hmm. Uh, do you have a bobby pin? And John puts his hands in his pockets, digs through them, he says, No, I, I left my bobby pins at home. Ah, damn. Okay, we're, we're gonna go uh, find a girl. And we're gonna seduce her into giving us her bobby pin, okay? Yeah, sure. John looks around. There's a... There's a woman carrying a carriage with a baby in it. And there's some teenage girls. There's a bunch of people walking around. Who you want to approach? How old are the teenage girls? No, they look like they're teenagers. Unless you want to go ask them about their ages specifically. Hmm. Let's go for the MILF! Go for the MILF. Yeah, John begins to jog and approaches a woman. Um, starts stuttering. She looks at him, waiting. Uh, right. Tell her she looks real hot. Hey there. You look pretty hot. The woman, uh, sort of looks at him. She looks confused. Her baby is crying. She quickly turns to the baby and tends to it real quickly, you know? And looks back at you, John. John, I'm gonna want you to roll for flirtation. Oh man, I don't have that. Uh... <laughs> yeah, smoking hot for a MILF. And a look of disgust plays across her face. She is absolutely disgusted with you. <laughs> she just scoffs and begins to walk away. She pulls out her phone and begins to dial a number. That's a failed roll, so, uh, everyone, let's bet for control. You only you actually can... spend these if you win, right? Yeah. If okay. you don't win control, then you don't spend anything. That's what I thought. And, uh, Mati, even though you were just in control, you can bet again. All right, Sim, the older lady with the child is walking away from you after turning down your attempts at uh, picking her up. Hey, John. Huh? Wait, what happened to the other one? Don't worry about the liber liberal. Liberal? You see that girl walking away from you? Uh, yeah. Yeah, I do. Gonna be okay, John. It's gonna be okay. I want you to go run up and grab that girl's butt. <laughs> she will like you for it. She will very much like you for it. Are you, are you sure? She didn't like me flirting with her. I don't think she'd like that very much. Don't worry about it, John. That's fake news. <laughs> yeah, you're right. I can't trust the media. Okay. No, you can't, John. All right, I can do this, right? I can do this? You can do this, John. Oh, yeah. I believe in you. Okay, okay. John begins to uh, catch up with the lady. Give me a roll. See how you go about grabbing her. What many of my skills apply, especially the one little 
my my hands. Yeah, 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 yeah. I think it will. Oh yeah, John jogs up right behind her as she's too preoccupied on her phone and her crying baby and grabs her. Gives a nice little squeeze. You wanna describe this little interaction? John, I want you to be firm but gentle. You gotta caress it at the same time as squeeze it. She will love it, John. John gives a firm yet gentle squeeze to the woman's behind. She turns around, gasps, and begins to pull back and attempt to slap you. Don't let go, John. Do not let go. Smile. We're going to have to turn over since a goal was accomplished. All right. So let's bet for control. This woman's hand is about to come down and slap John in the face. Alright, dude, the hand comes across, leaves a red mark, slaps, a really loud, very painful, it stings, you can feel it. This woman has scorned you, but you are in control. She begins to scream. Listen to me, John. Listen very well. You've got to, you've got to appeal to this woman now. We've obviously got her attention. Now we must, now we must express ourselves with our words our lovely lovely words tell her the pain on my face means no difference tell her that John reels back from the slap he touches his cheek then he looks at her he says the pain on my face means no difference she looks very confused at the statement and then you repeat after me once more listen all I'm saying is give peace a chance, love. Look, love, all I'm saying is give peace a chance. He repeats, he quotes you. You're in control of his mouth right now. We must, she... now, we must sing to her. She, uh, ready, John? she takes a step back. She tries to protect her child. She doesn't understand what you're up to as you try to hype John up for this serenading session. Are you ready, John? Repeat after me. My baby don't miss around because she loves me so, and this I know for sure. Go ahead, John. You've got this. John takes a moment and then repeats the words. Beautiful, in fact. Poetry to most. He sings these lyrics to this lady. Uh, give me a roll. For how well you can sing to her. That's just a d6. Yep, every roll is a d6 in this game. Yep, 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 yep. Damn, get out of here. Ooh, I, I got it, singing. You got the skill, yeah? I do. John begins to sing a ballad from his people passed down for generations. And the look of anger and confusion on the woman's face... All right, John, this is our away. chance. We've got her. We've got her right where we want her. Now continue this. But does she really want her? But can't stand to see me walk out the door. Come on, John, sing with me. <laughs> John continues the song of his people. Was that one of your goals? That wasn't... I don't know. Was it one of my goals? I don't know. I've already forgotten. <laughs> no, you're good. You're good. Uh, John continues to sing at the lady, and she's very impressed with your talents. She, uh, she apologizes. Uh, oh, I'm so sorry. I didn't know you are so talented. Do you have, like, an Instagram I can follow you on? Or are you on YouTube? Or Oh, Johnny, 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 of course we do. Tell her to look us up. We are Johnny Freshwater. Tell her, look us up. Oh yeah, Johnny Freshwater. I've got Instagram, got Snapchat. Follow me on Twitter. Uh, it's it's actually not Johnny Freshwater for my Twitter account. It's uh, at Real Donald Trump. But don't worry about that. 
Yes, yes, we may have messed up. We were just messing around on that one, don't you worry? You tell her, love. Say, listen, love, we're just, that's just a, that's just a little, little Josh on the world. Oh, yeah, John begins to explain to the woman that, uh, it was just a joke. It's just a prank, bro. She didn't, she didn't have to overreact when you grabbed her ass. And, uh, yes. She begins to understand what you mean. She's like, oh, yeah, you must be filming one of those prank videos. <laughs> um, how many subscribers do you have? Uh, of course, we've got we've got thousands at this point, but we're growing rapidly. Tell her, John. Oh, yeah, we've got, like, one, two, he begins counting his fingers, 3,000 subscribers. We're, we're a growing band. She's really yes. into you right now. Yes, John, ask her about time. Ask her. Ask her about the time. Uh, do, do you have it happen to have the time? And she uh, she pulls out her phone and it's, uh, it's actually about... Stop her. Stop her, John. Stop her. Just tell her this. Time you enjoy wasting was not wasted. Tell her that. Tell her, John. <laughs> what are you attempting to do here? Just wondering. I'm wooing this lady, okay? <laughs> Flirting? Okay. Sure. Give me a flirtation roll. Mm -hmm. Oh, buddy. Yeah, she was really into you previously. However, uh, the more you pressed on, you try to turn up your charm. It seems to confuse her more than anything. And she dials it back a bit. She's like, okay, uh, yeah, I'll, I'll subscribe to you, but uh, I gotta, I gotta, I gotta feed the baby, you know, duty calls, as uh, control is up for grabs. Waiting on Ozum. Okay, uh, Matihi and Sim, I want you both to roll a 1d10. Uh, I'll concede. Uh, I don't know, I don't think you can. You're pretty ah! good out there. Give me that 1d10. <laughs> <laughs> Roll again. Yeah. Ah, yeah, yeah. yes. All right. Yep. Yeah, T, you're in oh. control. <laughs> All right, John. All right, John. We got to salvage this. She's supposed to go off with a baby. All right. All right. <clears throat> uh, ask her for a number. Ask her for a number. Um. Hey, beautiful. <laughs> What's your number? She uh, thinks about this for a second. Oh yeah, um, it's uh, six four six uh, three four two five 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 five. She tells you. Sweet. Ah, good job, John. And that's uh, that's one of them. It's one of my. Well, I'll I'll, uh, I'll keep you in control for now. <laughs> Thanks. Hey, uh, uh, before you go, uh, do you know where I can get a guitar? Or don't, or ask her where you can get a guitar. Ask her, ask her. Oh, <laughs> beautiful. Thanks for the number and all, but y you know, um, I can, I can play you a song if you can point me towards a guitar. And, uh, <laughs> yeah, yeah, no, there's a, there's a guitar center off the 32. <laughs> yeah, and she's still backing away. All right, all right, John. We're gonna go. We're gonna go to that guitar store. And we're gonna get a guitar, okay? Uh, yeah, yeah. You're right. This is why I came here in the first place. Also, Mati, uh, if you added a point to your score, do not, oh. for reasons currently unknown. Oh no. All right, John. We gotta get a car or a cab. Uh, I, I I took an Uber here, so. Uh... Well, let's get an Uber. Oh, but I'm out of cash. What am I gonna do? I don't think I can pay for. Oh my god, I gotta pay rent next week. What? 
Oh, and then Sam, I owe Sam like 50 bucks. He's gonna kick my ass. Hmm. Hmm. Maybe we can uh, pilfer some pockets while people are playing on the beach. Because uh, people leave their pants on their seats, right? Um. Maybe. I, I put my stuff in the locker before I left, but maybe someone... Maybe there weren't any left and they just took their pants with them. Yeah, let's go find some pants. Yeah, yeah. John heads back to the pool and starts uh, looking for pants. Fucking... This isn't a challenge roll, but give me a d6. After wasting about 10 minutes looking around for nothing, John begins to get tired. Uh, he doesn't find any pants, and he sits down for a moment. And then he blacks out. So, everyone, add plus one to your willpower, and let's begin round of betting again. Okay, Sim, Awesome, and Dude, <laughs> give me 1d50 rolls. Right in the middle. Iced. Right in the middle. Alright, Awesome. As John lays down where he had previously laid... <laughs> Something pokes his ribs, and he comes to, and there appears to be a very fat man in a uniform poking him with a, some sort of prod. Uh, it's much darker than when you last remember. He says, hey, we're closing up. I need you to get out of here. Okay. Uh, I, I think we should probably do as he says. This, is, this seems like a pretty, pretty easy thing to do. <laughs> We slept. Uh, How long do you think we slept? Yeah, yeah, my bad. I just gotta, I gotta grab my stuff real quick. Um, John looks up the sky. The moon is out. Or it, the sun is setting, really. The moon you can see in the horizon. It's, uh... At a guess, it's probably around 8 o'clock, maybe? Hmm. Alright. Let's leave. Find something else. I don't think, I don't think there's gonna be anything interesting in here. Yeah, John heads back to the locker room, grabs his stuff. He has some jeans, about a buck fifty, his uh, cell phone with no charge on it, and he uh, he exits the pool. All right, let's see. Hmm. Are there? Look around the parking lot. Are there any, are there any cars? Truck. There are a few cars here and there. They're very spread out. It seems most people are either gone for the day, or maybe they're barbecuing. You can see some people in the distance. All right. How f how far away are we from our, from home? Ah, uh, well, the Uber you remember this is like a thirty minute ride. It costs a pretty penny. Yeah, you were actually supposed to meet a girl here, but she bailed on you, so you wasted the last of your cash on a date that never happened. Uh, see, this is this is why, this is why people are worse. People are worse than animals, dogs specifically. But that's not the problem here. We need money or something to get home. Let's let's look at some of the some of the cars around here. Maybe there's something something in those we can find. Oh yeah, you look around, there are about four cars parked near each other, probably like a family gathering or something. And there's some random stragglers. Alright, uh, go over to the four cars and try to, try to see if you can get into any of them. Yeah, you go over and you try each handle. They all appear to be locked. Uh, they're very, they're like vans and family type vehicles. Okay, okay. Any... Rocks, hard objects around, bricks. <laughs> oh yeah, there's some rocks, some nice size rocks, really, just around the parking lot. 
like towards the uh, towards the dirt and sort of like sectioning it off. All right, smashing the window. <laughs> um, okay, yeah, I can do that. John runs over, grabs a rock. Give me a roll to smash in the window. It's not gonna go well. <laughs> do you have no. a skill? Nope. Yeah, John takes a rock, bashes it against the window. The window cracks a little bit. It doesn't shatter, but instantly the car alarm goes off. It's very loud. You lose control, and people begin to look in your direction. Waiting on... There you go. Alright. Sim, you're in control. The alarm is still bl uh, just going off. Alright, John. Listen to me. <laughs> go back to those rocks. Um, okay, yeah, yeah. Alright. Quickly, John. Down. We must do this. We must do this for everybody. Grab those rocks. Okay. Yeah, I got a couple. Make a wall. We're going to make a wall. We're going to keep out those ones that are going to be coming for us. Make a wall. I, I, don't, I don't think I have enough time. Look. You can you see got time. a fat man and his wife seem to be approaching you at a quick pace. You better start building, John. This wall oh. needs to be made. It's a priority. Okay, I can try. Um, give me a roll. <laughs> yeah, John stacks about five rocks on top of each other, but uh, he gets a sixth rock and begins to put it in front of him as the entire wall comes crumbling down. And now the man, angry, he's got a tan, some sunburn, wearing some sunglasses, even though it's about nighttime, holding. One of those little, uh, those little forks that you turn over meat with. You know what I'm talking about? He's uh, confronting you as control switches over. Swing on set. There you go. All right, awesome. You're in. Oh, I'm not expecting that. All right. Hey, what the fuck you doing? The guy says to you. His wife is by his side, mean mugging you. Oh, tell him. Tell him you thought it was your car. Ah, oh, shit, man. I thought that was my car. The guy looks at you. He's like, "Are you fucking stupid? You're gonna hit your car for rock?" You lost the keys. Uh, yeah, I lost the keys. I was trying to get in. Um, <laughs> he's very angry at you. Hey, motherfucker, you're gonna have to pay for that. You know how expensive that vehicle is. All right, this isn't working. Just fucking run. <laughs> <laughs> uh, John is saying, yeah, and then he turns around and begins to bolt off in a random direction. Do you have any goal here? Um, whatever, like, the nearest shopping center type area would be. <laughs> Away from the park towards um, more civilization, I guess. <laughs> sure, you know the route to get back. The men's gonna give chase. I'll tell you what. It could be a roll, but I'll uh, decrease the t uh, difficulty by one because he's fat and not very athletic. Alright. <laughs> Do you have a skill for running? I, I am fast. <laughs> Okay, yeah. You begin running, jogging, and then sprinting, really, away from the man and your rock wall. That was a failed project. Um, you go on for a couple minutes. Your heart beats. You know, you're kind of fat, but you're sort of, like, fat athletic. It really works for you. Uh, you begin to slow down. You exit the general uh, the pool area, right? And uh, you're left on the highway. Let me move to that. 
we should probably try to hitch a ride. Is are there any cars on the highway? Like coming? Is it populated or is there like Oh one yeah, two? actually you're in the middle of traffic. Oh. It, yeah. Well you're not in the middle, you're approaching the highway and there are people just in one direction they seem to be piling on top of each other waiting to go. The other direction seems to be smooth sailing. Is the direction moving smoothly? Is that Far side or close side? It's far away from you. You'd have to navigate through the moving cars. Oh no. Uh -uh. Alright. Yeah, let's try to get to the other side. Maybe we can hitch a ride. Okay, give me a roll to dodge traffic. You're playing Frogger here. <laughs> Would this also fall under fast? Um... Let me think about that. You? Speed is important, right? I think we can all agree on that. But I think it takes what, a little bit more than just fat? speed. Hmm? He said fast. he's fast, so he's a bigger target. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that doesn't matter anyway. I'm just messing. <laughs> so we can agree that speed wouldn't be the contributor here, yeah? Yeah. All right, you make it about halfway through the road when suddenly a man honks as he hits you and you come to the side. You take some damage and control shifts. On Sim. Always. Damn it, Sim. Pull your life together. Fake news. <laughs> Every time we're waiting Listen on Sim. Listen to me, John. <laughs> Alright. Uh, Azam Matihi and. Dude, let me get some roll. 1d50. What the fuck? <laughs> no one wants control. <laughs> Oh, All right, dude, Ow. you're up. I didn't, I didn't make the best decisions. <laughs> Some guy in a blue Prius has hit you as you're trying to cross the highway. All right, John, this is what we've got to do. You've got to pick yourself up, but you're clearly hurt, so you need to make this man drive you to the nearest guitar store as a result of hitting you. Tell him, John. John picks himself up, and the man, who appears to be Asian, is honking at you. He's yelling something. You can't hear him in his car. His windows are rolled up. John sort of rolls up beside him, keeping his hand in front so he doesn't keep driving. And he knocks on the window. The man rolls down his window. He's like, what the fuck are you doing out here? And John begins to talk to him. Hey, what do you want to say to him, specifically? Hey, man, you just hit me with your car. You need to drive me someplace and drop me off in, in some type of civilization. The highway is not going to do it. I could die out here. Of course I fucking hit you. Look, why the hell are you out here right now? Obviously, I'm playing chicken. I wanted to cross the road. Come on, guy, don't be stupid. Just take me to the nearest guitar store, eh, mate? Let's go. I don't... No, I'm not going to do that. Come on, man. You got to do this for me, don't you know? Uh, you're trying really hard to persuade him? I'll start singing to him. <laughs> yeah, what are you going to sing to him that convinces him to pick you up? I'm going to sing to him. Alright, you ready? Come on, yeah. mate. We've got to... Let's warm up. Come on, John. We've got to, we've got to warm up our vocals. We've got to convince this man. Alright, you worried? You ready? John begins hyping himself up. All right, now begin, John. Do you worry that you're not light? How long till you break? You're happy cause you smile. Come on, sing it for me, John. But how much can you fake? Sing it, John. <laughs> how much can you fake, John sings as he begins to attempt to Persuade this man with his beautiful voice. Give me a roll. Oh, yes. 
<laughs> the man is taken aback. He's like, you're so talented. What are you doing out here? Oh. And people are honking behind him. He's like, er, just get in the car real quick, okay? Oh, thank you, good Asian gentleman. Let's let's go to the nearest guitar stores. Drop me off. He oh, unlocks his vehicle and he lets you in. And he turns back and says, look, I'm, I don't know if I can do that for you. I've got places to be, but I can't let you out here in the street on the, on the highway on your own. All right, John. You need to really persuade him to at least drop you off close to civilization, close to a mall or something. Tell him, John. Uh, look, man, just get me to a mall or something, you know? I gotta get my voice recorded, you know? And he looks at you, he's like, ah, oh, shit. Fucking. Come on, John. Put it on him. We've got to get our message out there for the world to see. <sighs> yeah, alright, you know. How far. Where am I? Uh, yeah, I'm just passing through. Where's the nearest mall? Okay, he asks you. Uh, you know there's a mall about maybe 10 miles away from this current spot. Holy fuck, John. This is a long ride. All right. Make sure he knows. Make sure he knows. We've got to get our message out there. Tell him, John. I gotta record. I gotta get out there, man. I need some some publicity. I need I need to record a studio. Look, man, the mall's ten miles away. He begins to explain the entire situation to him, and reluctantly, the man agrees. However, you're still stuck in traffic, and this will take a while. Are you okay with these conditions? I'm not okay with these conditions. All right, we've got to convince this man that our message is important. It needs to be out there. How are you going to go about that? You need to meander your way through this traffic or make your way off an on-ramp or something. Get us out of here. Let's go. All right. Try a uh, roll of persuasion and singing's not going to cut this time. Christ. Hey, look, buddy. Go fuck yourself. You can't get me in a mall. <laughs> I don't know what you're worth, you know? Fucking what happened to my Asian guy? You began trash talking the man who so graciously decided to carry you. You got about three miles before this conversation occurred. And uh, he turns around. Get the fuck out of my car. You know, I thought you were someone I thought you were something special. I thought you were different. Oh, tell him John, your Prius sucks. That's a Prius failed roll. So we're gonna have to fight for control. Oh, I'm guessing we're not doing too hot on willpower mm. here, huh? Awesome, you're in control. The man is telling you to get out of his car. Traffic is about to clear up. You can see people are driving ahead. Alright. Do as the man says, get out of the car. <laughs> don't want any more trouble with this guy. Alright, alright, shit. Fucking, don't get your panties in a night, you step out of his Prius. See, this is why we can't trust people. Yeah, I know, right? You, you fucking... You sing to a man, he appreciates your songs, and he just leaves you in the middle of a road. Yeah, all his fault. Anything. Fuck, what am I gonna do now? Let's head down the nearest on-ramp. Off-ramp. Yeah, conveniently, it's not too far away from you. You're gonna make your way off the ramp. You walk for about two minutes, and uh, you see like, on the side there's a McDonald's, there's Starbucks, there's, uh, there's a couple shops. You seem to be in, like a retail center. Oh, all right. Hmm. <laughs> Quite a pickle here. No money, and we're out in the middle of nowhere. How about? We see what those shops are, see if there's anything useful there. Yeah, you walk into a lot. There are many stores. Is there anything specific you're looking for? Specifically a pet shop. <laughs> oh, yeah, there's a pet co there, but it appears to be closed. Mm. All right. 
Yeah, isn't it like 9.30 at this point? <laughs> yeah, it's nighttime. I had a feeling. <laughs> Hmm. Okay. Robbing a car didn't go so well last time, so that's probably still not a good idea. <laughs> All right, let's let's see if we can convince someone over at the uh, Starbucks to give us a ride. You enter the Starbucks. There appears to be uh, a couple workers. There's uh, an old man on a laptop typing away. A young woman barely wearing clothes, if you're being honest here, on her phone, drinking some sort of latte or some shit, and you walk in, the, the two workers look at you, but that's about it. Alright, I'll go over to the, uh, the lady, not the worker, the uh, one barely wearing clothes. <laughs> oh yeah, she seems to be sitting at like a little uh, a booth, even though she's alone. How do you want to go about this? Uh, sit, sit across from her in the booth. Seems good. You sit down across from her in her booth. She doesn't even pay any mind to you. Alright, alright. Stay there. Excuse me, but, uh... I, I just got ditched by my friend. He, he, he was just a real dick and left me here. Yeah, any, any chance I can get a ride from you? Like, oh my god, who even are you? She, uh, sort of rolls her eyes as she looks at you, and then she looks back down at her phone. Alright. Thought you seemed nice. I, I mean, I, I suppose I can stop bugging you. <laughs> All right, try the old man. You, uh, you go over the old man. He appears uh, graying hair. He's wearing glasses, very thick. Um, he's very slowly typing away at his laptop. Hey, man. And uh, I wouldn't ask if I weren't desperate. But I got ditched here. Any chance I could get a ride from you? Oh, Sonny, I uh, can't sneak up on me like that. Sorry. What was that about being a bitch? Oh. <laughs> no, no, no I, I, need a, I need a ride somewhere. Oh, you you need a ride? Yes. Uh, what? In a car, preferably. Oh, what, 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 one moment, okay? He begins patting himself down and... Uh, he pulls out his wallet and he shows you his ID. He says, uh, you, you, you see this? Mm-hmm. Uh, I, I don't think it says I'm a, I'm a, I'm a taxi company or anything wow. like that. Wow. <laughs> wow. Okay. <laughs> what? He puts his <laughs> wallet away. <laughs> Everyone. <laughs> Probably have better luck at the McDonald's, honestly. <laughs> But hey, I... Okay. How about this, old man? If I... If you if you give me a ride back home, I have more money at home. I can pay you then. I mean, I know you're not a taxi company, but I mean... Money's money, right? Oh, how, how much are you talking about, Sonny? Uh... Maybe... 40 bucks? Oh... How far do you live? Uh, how far does it live? <laughs> From here? Not too far off. Maybe like a 10 minute drive. Yeah, just about 10 minutes away. 40 bucks? For 10 minutes? Uh, you know what, Sonny? I, I think I can do that for you. Alright. That went well. <laughs> The old man closes his laptop. It's a very old model, you notice now. Uh, he puts it in a bag that he had behind his chair, and he grabs his walking cane. And he begins to head towards his vehicle now. Now, uh, just follow me over here, Sonny. He says to you as he walks out to Starbucks. Alright, follow him. <laughs> Yeah, you'd be in the follow him as I take a two-minute break, because I have to piss. <laughs> All right. Let's do, 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 do. Do, do, do. Is the music do, 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 do. completely muted? It. Oh, it's different music now. Huh? It's, it's not that music. Damn, no. I forgot to turn the music back up. Turn the music on. How could you? Damn it, damn it. You need to start cueing music for me so I can start singing to it. 
Uh, Wait, did you give him your playlist? No, I didn't give him a playlist. Does it consist of Wonderwall? Christ, I barely had any time to get out of <laughs> I think you should add Wonderwall to your playlist. Uh, Oasis? No, yeah. Oasis. Why not? It's it's like a whole oasis in a desert full of trash music. <laughs> so, but they're also in the desert of trash music. <laughs> but they're hey. but they're like the the, the the beacon of hope. They're the one bright spot. <laughs> listen to my Maybe. John, listen to me. You're gonna be the one that saves me. John, <laughs> and after John all. you need to listen to me. You're my wonder woman. You must listen. <laughs> Tell her, John. Tell her. <laughs> Tell her. <laughs> Tell her, no, John. Don't listen to this liberal speak. <laughs> Dude, I'm like, I had to mic my mute because I started. Mic my mute! <laughs> <laughs> that's that's fake news. <laughs> that is fake news. We are building a wall. Finding we must build a wall. Rough. We must build a wall. Guys, wait till I get to do my number three. Uh, Everybody's gonna hate me. All right, I'm back. Yeah, you're, no, we're here. you're off the cocky here. All right, we starting back up. Oh yeah. Okay. All right, so the old man takes you back out to his Pontiac Aztec, and uh, he opens up the driver's seat, sits down, he adjusts his glasses, and he motions for you to enter the car. Yep. Follow up. Uh, you get in, all right. Um, you attempt, John attempts to buckle himself in, but it appears to be that the passenger side seat does not have a seat. Uh oh. Oh, don't worry about that, Sonny, he says, uh, as he starts up his engine. It takes a couple of tries, but eventually kicks in the gear. And he's on his way. Now, uh, where again do you live? Um, Feel just, free to make something up. Uh, do, do, I, do I know where the nearest dog park would be? And John's home, there's a dog park about, I don't know. There's actually one in the apartment complex that he lives in, you know, in the back? There's like a little section, it's very small. But uh, it does a job for anyone with animals who lives there. Alright. I'm at, uh, 2010 West Oceanfront. And, uh, I have an <laughs> apartment, apartment, one, one, two, three, two, one. <laughs> Oh, yes, yes, uh, West Ocean. Uh, man sort of nods. He seems to know the area. Uh, it takes about ten minutes to get there. But in ten minutes, just happens to be enough time for John to doze off for a bit while in the passenger side seat. He comes to with a new bid for control. Do we get a little refresh too? Yeah, you know what? Because it's going so poorly for everyone here, it is a refresh, yes. Oh, back to seven. Are we back to full? Quote unquote? Or just plus one? Oh, just plus, just one. plus one. Right? It's plus one by oh. the rules, but I think you're all pretty damn low, yeah? Yeah. yeah. I'm not. Ooh, TD's not. All right, we'll just plus one, everyone. Right. Oh, thanks, thanks, TD. Thanks. <laughs> Damn it. Waiting for one from. Seven. Why don't you bet some real ones? Yeah. <laughs> All right, and control happens to be TD. Hey, there you go. Uh, John. So go ahead. What's up? Are you about to say something? Nope, I was gonna say, tell me what the setting is, Jimmy. <laughs> yeah, John comes to, expecting to be in the passenger, uh, passenger side seat of a Pontiac Aztec, but he looks around, he appears to be in some sort of very small room. Damn it, John, you've managed to fuck things up. You've gotten yourself into quite a predicament. Quickly, look around, do you see any guitars? <laughs> John looks around real quickly. There does not appear to be any guitar in the area. 
damn John, you are really failing today. All right, here's what we've got to do. Quickly survey the area. What do we see? So John's laying in a very plain bed, and there's a, a nightstand table and a lamp lighting the room. There seems to be a couple of drawers on the side, but oddly, John feels a sensation of rocking back and forth. What's happening, John? I, I don't know. Where am I? Get your wits about you, damn you. How are your arms and feet? Can you move them? John begins to stretch a little bit, and he sits up in his seat. His uh, arms are free, but he notices that his legs appear to be chained to the bed frame. Damn it, John. All right. Examine the end of the, uh, the footboard or whatever it is of the bed. You need to see if it's loose at all. You look down at your feet. It's a metal cuff that's attached to a wooden bedpost. Why, John? All right, we're gonna have to try and wiggle this thing free or kick it. Um, we want to be quiet. All right, quickly, before we do anything rash, survey the area again. Do you see any windows? John does a quick survey of the area around him. There do not appear to be any windows. Damn it, John. What do you smell? John takes a big whiff. It's very... sterile in here. The scent of cleaning components or materials. It's very clean. He takes a look at the bedpost. There doesn't appear to be any dust anywhere. Very well-kept room. Alright, John, listen to me very closely. Do you have any pain or tingling sensation in any of your body. John begins to feel himself and other than the cuffs around his ankles, there doesn't appear to be any odd feelings, any any bruises, any marks. He's got a bit of chafing on the, the ankles though. Okay, so when you say that he was chained to a wooden wooden like footboard type of thing? Yeah. yeah. Like, imagine a bedpost and the mm -hmm. four corners have, like, a little post sticking out. Uh-huh. So and they're connected at the top? Or... No, they're not connected cross at the top. Beam? Right, yeah. there's a cross beam? Yeah. All right, all right, John. We've got to kick that middle that middle beam out. You've got to kick it with all your might. Knock that thing out. Yeah, you're right. I, I gotta get out of here. John begins to kick and give me a roll. Damn it. Do you have a skill? You remember, you guys can spend will points to decrease the difficulty. Right. Um, how much can I decrease it? Every mm -hmm. will point decreases it by one, and you can do it up to the amount of will point you have. Okay. Because I noticed that none of you have been doing that, so I'm just going to put that reminder yeah. out there. No, yeah, I, I, I have been keeping it in the back of my mind. But what did you need to, to pass just a normal skill check? If you don't have a skill, you need a six. And then every point decreases it by one. Uh, all right. Let's go for it. Spend those two. Can I do that now? Well, uh, if you, I'll tell you what. Since I'll let you re-roll if you want to spend two now. I'm not going to use the same roll. Ah, it's too two. late. If it's too late, it's not a big deal. No, no, no. Because I, none of you have been doing this. Let's not, 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 not bend the rules because I have such a remarkable voice. Uh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Baby hands. All right. Um, yeah, so John attempts to kick the board, and he stubs his toe, and there's a splinter in the bottom of his foot. He takes some damage and control shifts. Damn it, John. All right, fuck boy John, you're in control. Ah, okay. Hey John, how you doing? Oh fuck you! Oh my foot! Oh, where am I? I'm scared. It's, oh, no. it's okay. It's okay. Uh, can can you touch the handcuffs? Yeah, I, I can touch the handcuffs. Okay. Can you play a song on them? What? 
the fuck are you talking about? No, don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. All right, all right. And there's there's no one coming, right? Um, John shuts up for a minute and begins to listen. He can hear something. It's a very odd sound. Maybe water? Uh, I, no, I don't... I don't hear any water. It sounds like we're on a boat! Alright, 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 alright. So, uh, what I want you to do... Because we need an audience. I want you to scream for help. You want me to... To scream? Yes! Um, scream, John. Okay. Scream! I... I I, I can do that. Do yeah. John begins to scream at the top of his lungs. After a minute or two, it begins to hurt to continue screaming. Good try. Oh, God, no. We're not going back to Starbucks. <laughs> <laughs> John, John, you're really thinking about Starbucks a little bit too much. Oh. <laughs> oh, God. This doesn't work. <laughs> Um, yeah, uh, no one, uh, responds to the sound. Hmm. Hmm. Alright, John, is there a vape in the area? John looks in his pockets, and he remembers that, yes, he had a vape. Okay, cool. Here's what I want you to do, John. Okay, how far can you move from the bed? Um, John attempts to leave the bed frame and gets about a foot away from it. For the chain sort of pulls on his leg and prevents him from anything mm -hmm. further. Okay, how close to the door can you get? If John really attempted to, he could probably get maybe... Ah! He notices that he just can't reach the handle. Uh, that's... It's maybe a good three inches between him and the door. Okay, okay here's what I wanted to do. Okay, to John. I want you to get ready. Whoever comes in the door, you're going to tackle him to the ground, okay? But what I want you to do... Is I want you to vape so hard that it looks like there's fire coming out. All right, or there's smoke coming out from below the store. All right, John. Got him. John begins to vape. <laughs> However, that is a, a very large amount of vape. I'm gonna need a roll to see. If... <laughs> I got the skill. They're doing it all wrong. Vaping so hard. Oh yeah, you vape very hard. Good. A lot of smoke comes from the door. <laughs> And John continues to scream that there's a fire. After a moment, there's a sudden a pull, a pull, and the sound that had previously been heard in the background stops. And smoke continues to pour out from under your door, and after a moment, you hear a door handle. Great, John. What do you? I'm gonna tackle him to the ground. Put him in a headlock. Super old. From your position, you would not be able to reach the door. Oh. You know okay, well, get up, John. John sort of sits up in the bed. He still would not be able to. What, what, what's the actual goal here? You're not going to be able to, like, tackle the guy at the door for him. <laughs> ah, man. You might have to sacrifice your vape, man. Gotta throw it in his face. Stun him. All right, the door handle, it pulls open. The light from the other room sh uh, sort of shines in. You prepare to throw your vape. Give me a roll. Throwing roll or a vape roll? A throwing oh, roll. Oh, darn. Remember, you can spend will. I have one left. <laughs> <laughs> you spend it. I'm spend spending it. it. I spend my one will. I'm, make it. I'm going to be your inner John. Okay, you be my inner John. Spend it. Spend it. Oh, no. It was a waste. <laughs> The door opens, a, a very familiar figure is before you, John, trembling, throws his vape as hard as he can, and it goes wide, it hits the door frame and shatters, no! the liquid inside goes on the ground, the man looks at you. This is the worst. Sonny, what are you doing down here? As control shifts. What 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 are what are your willpowers looking like right Zero. now? Zero. Uh, Johnny Fish. Johnny Fish did his five. Oof. Four. Johnny Doxon is five. All right, we're good to keep going. It's here in a bad <laughs> spot. You know it's in a good place. I blew my load, man. <laughs> <laughs> 
All right. Well, I know you have zero, so awesome and dude, <laughs> let me get some rolls. Awesome, oh, your controls. No. The man looks at you, anger spread on his face as he backs away from the smoke. What are you doing down here, Sonny? Dude. <laughs> Was he not the one who put us here? Uh, ask. <laughs> Wait, what are you doing here? <laughs> John looks up and asks, <laughs> what, what are you doing here? The man says, oh, you know, Sonny, I'm just running a business. It's nothing personal, kid. Uh, Alright, we're gonna have to try again to break the... break out of the bed frame. It's the only, only chance. Okay. Give me a roll. You wanna spend some will? I, I will... I will spend... I will spend two will on this. Right. Do you have a skill in it? No. Okay, four or higher. Unless fast counts, but I don't think it does. <laughs> no. John once again kicks the bed frame and the splinter he had digs deeper into his skin. Now even if he tried, he wouldn't be able to pluck it out without some sort of tool. What? What are you doing, Sonny? I need you to stop that. Just accept your fate. As control shifts over and the man approaches closer to John. Alright, dude, you're in control. The man is right next to you, and he's reaching towards your foot. Alright, John, you need to tell him. It would be a terrible waste if he's looking to harvest your organs or anything like that, okay? Tell him, John. Look, man, I smoke, I, I, I do crack cocaine, I drink constantly. If you're trying to sell my organs, you're not going to get anything. The man looks at you, and he looks back at the frame, and he sort of touches the frame very gently. And he says, Oh, Sonny, I'm not looking for your organs. No. Something much greater. Tell him, John, if he's looking for your soul, he's in the wrong business, because we've gotten rid of ours a long time ago. Oh, look, man, I've sold my soul to the devil. I'm really good at the guitar. If you just give me a chance, I can play something for you. It's because I traded my soul for a devil. I don't have a soul. Just leave me alone. We could sing to him. Our talents, maybe we could help him. Maybe we could help him to wrangle up more. Tell him, John, tell him. We could sing. Look, man, look, man, I can, I can help you. Whatever it is you're doing here, I swear I can help you. You need bodies? I, I can trick people. I can I can sing for them, I swear. All right, give me a persuasion roll on a d6. Damn it. Um, let's see. Let's see. And I'm I'll also spend... use it. Yeah. What, what was that? I'm going to spend uh, no. two. You're spending two? Alright. Do you have anything yeah. for persuasion or not? No, just my my singing and my amazing singing and guitar playing skills. Yeah. That does <gasps> it. it. Whoa. Oh, man, he, he looks at you and says, Oh, you you can help me, huh? He thinks for a moment and he, he asks you, How do I know I can trust you? Tell him, John. We're not exactly in a position of bargaining. I mean, we're strapped to a bed. Tell him. Look, man, you're, you're making power plays here. You know, I don't have any say in my life. I, I'll do whatever you say. I want to live. I don't know what you're going to do to me, but I'm scared. And the man thinks for a moment. Says, yeah, okay. I can do that, Sonny. I think I can see you now. I think I understand what kind of person you are. And he pulls a key from his pocket. And before he uh, he puts it in your lock, he says, Now don't you try anything, okay, Sonny? 
I've, I've got my ways, but I assure you, if you double-cross me, you won't make it out of here alive. Right, and he gentlemen. puts a key in a lock and then unlocks it. Don't do anything stupid here, John. We just need to keep it cool. Get this shit out of your foot. John is freed from his manacles. He still has a splinter, a nice big old splinter in his foot. Well, perhaps we could ask this man if if we could get any medical attention or somebody to pull this splinter out of our foot. Ask him, John. Hey, man. Um, I've got this injury. Um, you think you could do something about that? Make sure you specify, it will not affect our ability to wrangle people in. We can Don't... get the message out there. Don't get me wrong, man. I can still sing and play a guitar, but, uh... Yeah, it just kind of hurts. I'll, uh, I'll see what I can do for you. Just, uh... You said you sing, right? You play a guitar? Oh, yeah. Mm. Uh, I'll, I'll be right back. Don't you go anywhere. He leaves the room. All right. All right, John. Don't be crazy or anything, but I need you to hobble your ass over to the door and just kind of peek around. Don't do anything crazy. Just look back and forth. We need to survey the area. Let's go, John. Do it. John gets a nice look of the hallway. You can see at the last moment as a man steps into... Maybe a stairwell or something as he disappears from your sight. You're on the, like, the bow of the ship. There are a couple doors here and there. It's not very big. It's a very small build. Alright, John. I guess we're on the... Uh, I guess the forward part of the ship, yes? If this could be a ship, I suppose. It might be a boat. It's not worth diving off. You've got a splinter in your foot. I don't know if it's salt water. Probably salt water. There could be sharks. We don't wish to be eaten. Let's see what the man comes back with. Let's just play it cool. Go ahead and chill on the on the bed for a minute. But you need to do some singing exercises. Me, 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 my, 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 mo, 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 mo. Do it for me, John. And John sits back on his bed and begins to practice his, uh, his little exercises he does before he sings. He warms up, really. After about four minutes, a man returns. He's holding in his hand an instrument, uh, a four-string guitar, and a little medical kit by his side. He tosses Perfect. the guitar towards you. Oh, this will do nicely, John. You need to thank the man. Oh man, <laughs> yeah, I can, I can do this. Thank you very, you're so kind. All right now, John, you need to feel this guitar. Feel her. We must caress her. Feel her bosom. Feel the small of her back. Be intimate with her. Go ahead, John. You get very intimate with the, the instrument as a man <laughs> begins to work on your foot. All right, John. Let's see what we're talking about. Um, all right, John. Let's play a couple of chords. Are you ready? Yeah, I'm ready. I'm ready. I need a C chord, John. John strum the C. It's very easy. Yes, John. Now I need a D. John needs a roll to see whether or not it can transition from the C to the D and continue to play this guitar. Nailed it. A three? A guitar skill. I have a guitar skill. Oh yeah, you do. John you do. transitions from the core and begins to play his guitar. Possibly the only song that he knows. All right, John, repeat after me. Go ahead, clear your voice once. 
Clear, clear your throat. John clears his throat. <laughs> All right, John, repeat after me. And make sure you play the chords correctly. It's a small John progression, really. After you, it's a very small progression, yes. It, it goes D, A, D, G, B, okay? You've got this, John. Are you ready? John feels very ready as a man works on his foot. All right, John, begin to play and sing. And I'd give up forever <laughs> to touch you. John. You me somehow. Sing it for me, John. Begins to sing the song that does not coincide with the, what he's strumming. And he serenades the old man with the song. Yes, he does. And explain to him, John, you see, we've got this. We, we have plenty of songs we can lure in men, we can lure in women. We can lure them all in. The man finishes up patching up your foot as you finish your song and you talk to him. Is that a succeed in one of your skills? Your, your, um, your fucking obsessions? Kind, kind of. It's a uh, subway band. <laughs> I don't know about Plus, that. Plus, I got an I got an acoustic. That's a that's a thing too, man. Yeah. All right, we'll, we'll we'll turn over then. And you know what? I'm feeling generous. You all seem low on points. I'll give everyone a plus one point here, as we bet for control. You can take your your plus one, you know, dude. Got it. Oh man. I'm still waiting on Sim. me. Always waiting on Sim. Oh, God. Yeah, no, my roll twenty is being dumb. Mm -hmm. Sure, blame the roll twenty. All right. Do you remaining? You need control. to get your life together. <laughs> really? Yeah. Well, Demi, I'll be honest with you. I've already forgotten most of the events, but what occurred? The man has finished patching up um, your foot as you convince him that you can sing and be of value to his goals. Ah, uh, yes. All right now, John, you need to thank this man. Go ahead, thank him. Oh, thank you so much, mister. I don't know what to say, you know? I thought you were going to kill me. Oh, no, sonny. Right. I would never do something so vile. Um, now, John, don't be alarmed that this man's uh, accent has clearly changed, but we need to uh, we need to move forward. Go ahead and ask him, John. What uh, what kind of songs or, or what exactly would he like us to uh, to begin? Go ahead, ask him, John. You trying to ask him what he wants from you? Yeah. Oh, well, Sonny, you you said you can lure in. Innocent young men, right? You you can lure them in, and I can take them to my ship and drop them off where they're needed. I think uh, we have a partnership here. You you help me get some young, handsome men on my boat, and I let you live, of course, but uh, I'll also pay you. All right, John. This is our opportunity. We need to a get our get our word out there, and also we need to put up a flyer. Tell him that we'll put up a flyer, John. We're taking auditions. You no, know, we uh, we uh, put up flyers like around town about taking auditions. We can probably like get them in a room alone, and then you can do what you do, right? You think so? I was like, ah, oh, yes, Sonny. That's it's a good idea. I know, John. You're, you're a goddamn genius. All right. Now, we need to tell him we're going to need a small studio or something. Oh, it doesn't have to be much. Just, you know, or at least has to look like a studio. Yeah? Tell him, John. You begin to explain the details of the plane that you're concocting. Oh. Yes.
Was that all? Yeah, just like we need to explain what, what we're going to need in order to draw these guys in. Yeah, you do so. You talk, talk about to... rooms and housing and tools in order to trap people and flyers. You keep going on and on. Yes, John. We just need like a small recording studio like... It, it, we Oh, John, tell him a two-way mirror and then he can see what men he does and does not want. Tell him, John. Tell him. Oh yeah, you see what we need is a two-way mirror and like a studio where you can peep from the other side, you can raid them, you know. It's a great idea, don't you think? The man thinks for a moment, like, yeah, uh, sorry, I, I never thought about that, but um, it sounds a bit pricey, don't you think? No, John, tell him no, it just, it, all it has to do is, is look like it's a real studio, right? And it could just be a room with a few fucking instruments, we don't even care, you know, but... Hell, this is an opportunity. Go ahead, tell him. John tells them all this, and he continues to convince them about their plan. They work out the details. Is there anything else you're trying to do here? Uh, no. I guess we'll just work out those details. And we need to look. We need to find uh, prime prime real estate. Tell, or John, you need to tell him. We need to find like. A hipster location. Tell him, John. All right, look, man. I'm telling you, these young kids are weird, right? We gotta find some place with like really odd antique shops, maybe some dumb music store, or definitely a fucking Starbucks. And then, uh, Starbucks or Bigby's? Yes, or whatever. Bigby's, yeah. And then we set up shop there, you know, somewhere kind of ghetto, but not really. And then. They'll just come to us. We'll, we'll catch them, you know? We're like a lantern. They're just fucking moths going to the flame. Oh, Man, Johnny. Uh, Johnny boy, you're a goddamn genius. Yes. John is really feeling himself right now. He keeps going on and on and continues to explain his plan. And the man agrees wholeheartedly and says... All right, all right, John. Go ahead. All right, Sonny, well... Uh, we should uh, pull in back to port. Maybe call it a night and we'll get started off our plan in the morning. Oh, no, no, Johnny. You need to tell him we need to start now. The faster we... Uh, or at least we could Google the internet. I don't know. We do whatever. We've got to... Like, we've got to find real estate now. If we wait till the morning, it could be all gone. Tell him. And John tells him this and the man responds, Flatia! It's a bit late to be doing any of this. I, I doubt any business is going to be open. Yeah, uh, John. John, you need to tell this man, okay? There, there's such thing as, as the internet. And with the internet comes email. You can email these postings. Tell him, John. I, uh, I, uh, I suppose I can do that, but... Uh... There's no way this is going to happen within the next couple of hours, me. Yes, John, you need to tell... Oh, John, what about this? Tell him we could use the apartment. Right, that's not too far from most of those locations. It's within 10 minutes of everything. Tell him, John. John talks about his apartment, how it'd be the ideal locale for everything. Uh, with no studio, I suppose, but uh, if you're willing to, yeah, I guess we can do that. Yeah, John, you tell him. We get some minor equipment, we throw it in there, and we're all set. Tell him, John. John, this is this is a brilliant idea. John tells him all this, and then he says, Okay, well, uh, I'll get back to the, to the helm, and I'll, I'll pull us in. Just, you, uh, you wait here, and... Uh, don't step on your foot. Just get some rest, really. No, John. Tell him rest is a terrible idea. We need to start thinking of things that we need to put on a flyer. Tell him, John. We need to get to work right away. Oh, I suppose I have some paper and a couple of pens I can give you while you work on that, but I gotta go pilot the ship. Yeah, that's fine. You tell him he can go work on the ship, uh, uh, drive the ship. 
uh, maybe ask him if it's okay. Maybe we can follow him. We can sit up uh, next to the helm and work on ideas. We'll spitball back and forth. Tell him. Oh, yeah, laddie. I suppose if you want, uh, you may not get the best of light. It's quite laid out, but if you think you can draw in the dark or... We don't need to draw, John. We've got the mind like a steel trap. Don't you worry. We can spitball and come up with good ideas. And then we can, once we have a little bit of light, put it down on paper. Sometimes the best ideas, hell, they don't need paper and they don't need pen. They just come out. Tell him, John. You tell him this and he begins to walk with you to the helm. He gives you some materials to start writing things down and... He begins to head back towards the shore. All right, John. Um, we have to come up with some ideas. Go, damn it! What do you have? Tell me. John is a talentless hack. <laughs> He's gonna need a role to come up with something creative enough to entice people. Damn it! All right. All right. The shroud's wow. gone on too long. You don't have any skill that helps you advertise things, huh? Hell no, I don't have advertising. <laughs> uh, John really tries hard to come up with an idea, but after about ten minutes, all he notices is that on his paper is a bunch of drawings of dicks. <laughs> and uh, he nods off as the man makes his way back to shore. Yeah. John, those are the most fascinating dicks I've ever seen. John wakes up in an apartment. It's not his apartment. As we roll for control and everyone gets plus one. Alright, dude, again. <laughs> Got this. Ooh, the my Lenin shall prevail. Everyone's bidding ones. <laughs> Nobody wants to follow the dude. Oh, Sim, <clears throat> you get a, uh, you get. Hold up, Sim was AFK, but so control switching over. John fell asleep again. You get plus one, and we're bidding for control. Do you know the situation, Sim? He's waking up. John's waking up. That's the situation. Are you alive, Sim? Sim. Sim, you dumb messing. bastard. Okay, dude and Sim, give me rolls. Man, I'm not good at rolling. See? <laughs> I always get it. <laughs> Alright, dude, you rounds. are still in control. <laughs> One of you roll a d10. <clears throat> oh yeah, and then d10. I would get a 3.5. Roll a d50. Yeah, wow, on, Sam, you keep rolling d10s on purpose. <laughs> that's a that's <laughs> a that's the second time I've seen right, it. Nothing changed, but you son of a bitch. You wake up. You're in a nice queen size bed, comforters. You look around the room. There seems to be paintings of Jesus Christ and signs on the wall and crosses. This isn't your apartment. All right, John. Where the hell did we? Where have we? Where are we, John? Uh, In your composure, man. Shit, I don't. I don't know. I was on a boat and <laughs> I drew some dicks. Uh, um, wait. What was I supposed to do again? God damn it, John. Listen to me. We were supposed to come up with good ideas. We were supposed to be back at our apartment, man. And then you drew some dicks. You really let me down. You're kind of an asshole right now, you know that? Hey, man, I don't need you to fucking talk down on me. John gets up from his bed and begins to walk towards the door. He opens the door and instantly he's greeted with a pair of Puppy dog eyes staring at him. 
begins to bark and excitedly jump on his heel, on his uh, his knees. All right, John. That dog, but don't get too attached, because we need to figure out where we are. What, did you say something about the dog? He's gonna cut out for a second. <clears throat> All right, John. You can pet the dog just briefly, but don't get too attached. We've got to figure out where we are. John pets the dog. The fur is very soft. The little boy wags his tail excitedly. After a moment, John walks away from the dog and looks around. There are paintings all along the walls and all religious symbols. Eventually, he stumbles into the kitchen and he sees the old man from earlier eating some eggs and bacon. All right, John. What time of day is it? If it's morning, tell him good morning. John sort of looks out the window. He can see the sun. He can't tell exactly what time it is. There's no clock anywhere, and his phone is dead. This is a um. Good morning. <laughs> the man turns and says, "Ah, lad, you you slept for hours. I have to carry you to my my place. We we're supposed to go to your apartment, but I don't know where you live. You gave me the address, but to be honest, I uh." I don't have one of those GPS machines. Right, John. Tell him this will be a fantastic opportunity to to discuss some ideas for a flyer. Go ahead, John. Tell him. Oh, look, man. I know I kind of fell asleep on you yesterday, but I've been thinking about this flyer, and here's what I got. Fucking give me a roll. John is literally a talentless hack. We've gone over this one. You know, Demi, you're kind of an asshole. <laughs> I take it all back, but I failed. Yeah, check this out, man. So what we do, right, what we do is on the flyer, we have a picture of me and, um, uh, he sort of trails off as the idea fades from his head. He's just sort of sitting there with a dumb look on his face as control switches. You're not my John. I'll tell you what to do. Yes, I am, Matihi. You need to listen to me. No. You need to go to your stereo and turn on Our Lady Peace and crank Superman's Dead. Never. Right, dude, you need, to, you need to put up your points. That, that should have be my John. Dude, John. I don't have any points. Well. I bet zero. Oz and Matigi, let me get a roll. On D50? Yeah. Ooh. Oof. Get a 50, get a 50, oh. Alright, Oz, you're in control. You stumbled on your, your, your pitch to the old man for a fly. Alright. Hear me out here. You know what everybody loves? Tell them. Everybody loves dogs. Gotta get some dogs in there. Uh, we'll just draw people in. Come on. Dogs! Y yeah, yeah, yeah! Everyone loves dogs! And uh, as you say that, the dog from earlier runs by you and goes to the old man and tries to jump into his lap as he pets him. Well, you... You got the... You got the point there, laddie. So, you have this one. Like, what kind of dog is it? Just out of curiosity. Big dog, small dog? Yeah, it's a medium dog. All right. But do you know if there are other dogs in the park? Ah, uh, well, uh, I know Lorraine has a dog. Yeah, she has that, uh, that stupid chihuahua. And that, uh, there are a couple. Why? We could get several dogs then we could just market this as coming in and playing with dogs. And then when they're playing with dogs, then you can do your thing, right? Right? I, uh, I don't know if I can get the other people to give me their dogs. You, this, don't, uh... you don't have a problem with kidnapping people. So what about dogs? Right? Well... 
He, he sort of looks down and he says, uh, those dogs are innocent, laddie. People, they're, they're the worst, don't you agree? Yes, which is why we should take the dogs from the people so we can watch them properly. <laughs> Maybe you got the point there, laddie. Okay. I'm liking what you're putting down. Why don't you, uh, what else have you got for me? Alright. So, when we have all of them, possibly, just maybe, we could, when we lure people in, we could train the dogs to specifically incapacitate them. <laughs> no, it sounds crazy, but it could work. Train the dogs to knock out the person, or, you know, something like that. Wait, wait, what exactly are you hoping to get off these people? How intact do they have to be? Oh, laddie, as long as their faces are intact, that should be good enough. What about throat? How do you feel about throat? Oh, that should be essential. Alright, then we're really? gonna some... Train some attack dogs. As, as, I'd rather have not uh, my merchandise in the worst of conditions, so just try not to damage them. Ah, okay. okay. Then we can just have them distract while you, I don't know, drug them, chloroform, something like that. Laddie, I don't, I don't know what you think happened, but you fell asleep in my car and I just sort of went from there. There were no drugs involved. Well, yeah, but is that how it always goes? People just fall asleep in your car? Well, no, but I thought it's a sign from God that you just so easily fell into my lap. In fact, you even came to me. I didn't even go out to see you. All right. Fine. And uh, real quick, because uh, dude brought it up. Let's take a quick minute break. Thank you, That's right. Maybe get some more drink. I need a chug, man. I'm slacking. I was so excited for Wonderwall, man. So hyped. <laughs> oh shit. We're gonna start recording. They're still hyped. <laughs> hmm? Oh yes, there is time for Wonderwall. There's always time for Wonderwall. Oh shoot, I forgot. I could have got that first roll because I had seducing Stacy's. Damn it. Damn it, Stacy. <laughs> Stacy's mom. Of, we haven't seen enough of Fuckboy John. Yeah, we need more Fuckboy John. I think I blew my load too early. I was like. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you betting like five Four, piece? Man. Four. Jesus. Four and three. Jesus. I wanted that good control. Mm mm mm. Yeah, well, we haven't been in a good spot for control lately. <laughs> mm -mm, mm -mm. Uh, eh. So I had cider. I have tequila. Let's go. Oh, man. <laughs> Tweeter would call those panty droppers. <laughs> They're um, already dropped, Finn. <laughs> <laughs> I'm <laughs> Just press F. That's it. Just F. <laughs> press F to show respect. Uh, yeah. We're paying respect. <laughs> F. I'm uncapable at the uncapable. moment. <laughs> That's a lowercase F. Get good, son. Look, I just had to press F. No one said about shift no. F or, no, or cap lock. It's always F shift F. Shift in the gear. Working with one hand here. So I'm jacking off with the other. <laughs> <laughs> I know I know the dude's voice is so <laughs> spicy. <laughs> <laughs> He's joined in. <Dinning. laughs> Come Can on, I John. My F? I need to go for a second. <laughs> Come on, John. 
Put your hand off your dick. Come on, John. <laughs> put, Start the put day. both hands on your dick, John. Can you do that for me? Can you do that for me, John? It'd still be like a fire hose. <laughs> F for fire F, hose. F, 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 F. <laughs> what, are your, what are your points looking at? Dude. I'm doing good. I just... Oh, like, God. here comes tequila. Huh. Oh, man. <laughs> Add tequila to the party. Da, 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 da. Oh, God, this is going to be terrible. Uh, I bet. I never met anybody who got done right by tequila. <laughs> Alright. Who needs lemon? Lemons are for pussies. Yep. No salt, no lemon. Just I shots. have no salt in my body, it's fine. Because you're a salted little Sally. Yeah, I play Overwatch too much. <laughs> I play Bastion, he's a salt powered robot. <laughs> Awesome Zephin again. Where the fuck is uh, we're yeah, still okay. we're still looking for a boy, man. Tada. Tada's pissing. Tada. How long does it take him to piss? I don't, know. I don't ask. Why don't you ask uh, him? Ask me pro he probably washes his hands. He's I'm, gotta put the he's gotta put the toilet yeah. paper around the seat. Oh, sit yeah. down. <laughs> you gotta right. pat down your dick after. Well. Little paps. Because literally what I what I what I just went and did <laughs> was, was what he's been doing the whole time. Pissing? I mean, yeah. Like, that was that a quick bit. Did you gone. wash your hands? Yes. Uh huh. Did you wash your hands before or after I you touched your dick? What? <laughs> I do it before, so that way I'm clean still. <laughs> See, if you do it both times. Yeah, it's like that, that fucking quote from fucking. Uh, what is it? The fish fucker movie. You know what I mean? The Guillermo de Toro. I don't even know. I think you were yeah, I did. so I know it. Yeah, the fish fucker movie, man. The fucking... Oh god, what was it called? Ah, oh, Shape of Water. Fish there we go. Good movie. Oh, wow. Really good movie. <laughs> what is it called? Shape of Water. Fish fucker. <laughs> Shape fish of fucker. Water. Yeah. Fish fucker, the movie. Yo, boom, boom. Sim. <laughs> you were so, here for the last game. This pace is pretty different from the last one, Much yeah? different. Uh-huh. A lot different. I think if you follow the rules, it's a lot fucking slower, and no one can do anything. Yeah, really. <laughs> Fuck the well, rules. I mean, re really, it just depends. I mean, it, like, uh, I think it's meant to be, like, short bursts. Oh. You know? <laughs> you, you, you mean it comes in spurts? <laughs> I'm used to short bursts. Like a <laughs> short burst. Rapid, but short burst. Like a chimpanzee. Everybody all right. We're all here. Press F. Alright. When we left our hero, he was convincing a man to train dogs to attack people without injuring them to kidnap them for whatever purpose he has. How <laughs> ominous. It was an it was an idea yeah. <laughs> to not injure them. <laughs> Isn't that how Canadian stories? Yeah. I like how everybody's making their drinks still. Let me just I'm um. out of drinks. I have a water. There you go. What? <laughs> Water? Where do you Water, live? Water, pussy. Mexico? Fucking Where do you out. live in the U.S.? Oh, oh yeah. Which Mexico, you don't want to drink the water in Mexico. That's terrible. Oh, Are yeah. you drinking American beer? Is that your water? Oh, right. It's cool. You know, like, <laughs> what tastes like shit? Up, yeah. All right. And <laughs> wreck. Oh. Welcome back. What do you mean, your dogs? Blah, blah, blah. <laughs> wait, wait. <laughs> You're dying for a while. Oh. Thanks, Doc. Alright. Yeah, so. Last we left our hero, he was attempting to convince the old man to train dogs. I already did this. Thinking about it. Okay. <sighs> the, the dog in his lap right now is a Pomsky. A breed of a Pomeranian and a Husky. Okay. This probably isn't gonna work. How about how about we just do the luring? How about we we advertise you have a boat, so we could have like a dog boat. Like advertise since I could boat with a bunch of dogs that you hang out with. And then when they're on the boat, then they fall asleep and then you chain them to the bed and steal their face or whatever the fuck it is you do. <laughs> oh laddie, I don't steal their face, I just settle them to the highest bidding customer. Oh, I thought you said they didn't have to be 
I thought just the face. <laughs> well, that face is the most important part when you judge a book by its cover, don't you? I mean, yeah. I, I, thought, I thought you meant they didn't have to be alive. <laughs> Well, uh, every now and then I get a customer who doesn't care about that sort of specific detail, but, uh... Okay. For the most part, we need live produce. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, uh, same, same plan, man. Move over to the boat, wait for them to fall asleep, change to the bed. Oh, uh, yeah, I, I guess I can do that, but, uh... Now, should we get this started? Hmm. As, as you're thinking, as I'm thinking about this, John, can you go over and pet this dog real quick? It's important. <laughs> John walks over and b pets the Pomsky. It uh, sort of rolls over on the old man's lap. Oh, you, you're taking a liking to little old Johnny, eh? I actually, uh, I never got your name. What's your name? Me? It's John, actually. <laughs> oh, John! What a, what a coincidence. You pet the dog for a bit. Alright. Is that Wait, one of your things? It is. Well then, let's <laughs> switch control. I will take that point. <laughs> this is going nowhere fast. Place your bets, everybody. Why are you even asking me? I'm asking everyone. I'm not going, hey dude, put your fucking bed in. Sounds like you just said it to me. Because I'm dude, always... I need you to put your bet in, dude. I did! Dude, where's your bet? Dude, come on, come on dude. Dude. Anyway, Sim, you're in control. Bro, dude. Alright, so we're about to pet the dog. Did we, go, did we accomplish the dog, the dog part? Yeah, we already right. pet yes. the dog. The dog has been pet. Okay. Alright, John. Call for Uber. <laughs> John pulls out his phone and realizes that it's still dead. Go next door, John. Um, yeah, I'll be right back. And uh, John quickly exits the trailer. And now, uh, left or right, who do you want to visit? Go across the street, kitty corner to the right, John. John goes across the dirt street, kitty corner to the right, and knocks on the trailer door. After a moment, a woman in a tank top with some stains on it, fairly fat, her hair is done up with some uh, those little rolly things that I can't remember right now. Rollers? She answers, yes, rollers, and a rolling pin in her hand. She seems to have been in the middle of cooking something. What do you want? Smile at her, John. John gives her a big toothy grin. Ask her if she has a phone you could borrow, John. I don't mean to trouble you, but do you think I can borrow your phone? She has a mean look on her face. She says, I, I don't pay for whatever that phone line business is. John. I'm not buying this. This is fake news. I want you to do something for me, John. John gets a little bit angry as he listens to you. I want you to reach down. Reach around the whale and grab her ass, John. Give me a roll to get that reach around grab. How many times have you been pushed around? Is anybody there? You got a skill at grabbing people. Well, wouldn't they only pick me down to a four? The three is, uh, if you have a trained skill, it's a three. Um, my baby hands count? <laughs> Your little baby hands are harder to grab than normal hands, I guess. Well, it's squirrely hands. The woman sees you attempt to reach around and grab her, and she tries to stop you, but... She overestimates the size of your hand, believing it to be the size of a normal hand. And her attempt to grab you fails as you reach around and grab her by the rear end. You get a nice, firm, yet gentle squeeze. It happens to be your one and only trick. Huzzah, John. Huzzah. I'm guessing that's one of your things. Yes. Alright, control. Switches over. Give me your bets.
He's waiting on. Okay, Matihi, Sim, give me a roll. <gasps> Are you kidding me? <laughs> <laughs> Alright, Mitty. All right. That was not rolled so, properly, look. So, we're grabbing her Oh yeah, it wasn't. Oh, you, 1d50? You just rolled a 1, right? Rolling 1. Taking those L's. Oh, yes. you fuck. Yes. Fuck you. My boy. You Take got a nice old feel. No, you're my- she, she raises her rolling Ooh. pin. It's about to come down and hit you. What are you gonna do? Alright, John. Walk away. Very quickly, after you get your feel, you turn around and begin to walk away. And the rolling pin comes slamming down at the air. It wishes past you. She breathes heavily as she attempts to follow after you. Jog lightly to the next door. She ain't gonna be able to keep up, John. Yeah, you easily <laughs> manage to outrun her without really even trying. <laughs> you go next door. Knock on that door, John. You knock on that door as that lady continues to approach you. After a couple of seconds, a nice young girl, also wearing a tank top. There's no stains on this one. And some jeans open. She says, uh, what can I do for you, darling? John, what I need you to do now is just reach down and grab her ass. <laughs> Go for the roll. <laughs> Before she knows what hair, you reach down and grab, gently yet firmly, her butt. She lets out a shriek as the other woman catches up to you, rolling pin up in the air again, as we bid for control, as you have currently groped two ladies within a minute. <laughs> you lucky bastard. Oof. I am, I'm on a roll. Scumbag. Spicy. Fucking scumbag. Mm. So we're just groping yeah, ladies. Bet from, apparently. Ah, shit. Am I... Nah, I'm not... I'm not muted. No, you've no, never, never been, been muted, muted, dude. <laughs> dude, I'm telling you. Right now, physically, there's a button on my... On my... My mic that is muted. What is this mic that you have? <laughs> this mic? Mm -hmm. It's not a Yeti, it's... That is shitty! It's all the shit. <laughs> Sure. You yes. Uh. Hey, John. I'm back. All right. All right, John. <laughs> <laughs> so what? You grab this girl's ass again? God damn it. You gotta get your paws off this girl's ass. You know what you gotta do? You gotta fucking serenade her. Cause she's probably fucking like really mad that you're doing this. But it's okay. It's okay. Stacy's always like this kind of thing. Don't worry. Don't worry. Alright. Alright, John. Ask her if she has Spotify. She, uh, she lets out a little shriek. Oh my! As the old woman is, uh, fastly gaining on you. You ask the, the newer lady. <laughs> you have Spotify, darling. She responds with, Oh, of course I do. Alright. Uh, tell her, tell her to play the karaoke version of Wonderwall. <laughs> tell her, tell her you're gonna serenade her. You begin to explain your intentions to the young lady, but the older lady catches up with you. Very angry, very red in the face, sweat dripping down her brow and her shirt. Very messy. And she says, now you no good, Varmin. I'm gonna get you, and she begins to make her. Oh attack. wait, no, no, no! Don't t tell him, not, tell her not to attack you. Tell her she's really hot. Drone sticks out his hands and says, "Wait, hold on, darling. I swear this is some sort of misunderstanding." She's having none of it. No, dodge. She is very angry. You've already gotten her way beyond her uh, her normal walking distance of her. A trailer. Mm -hmm. It's the first time she's walked in a while. All right, dodge, oh, John. Yeah. Dodge. You're gonna try to dodge. You want to spend some points? Well, or... I don't really have any left, so no. <laughs> Let's go. Oh uh, well. <laughs> Not good enough. John gets whacked right over the head. 
I mean, black side. Oh, no, it's okay, John. It's, it's okay, John. We like this. Now we're, uh, we're bidding for control. This is a blackout, by the way, so everyone gets one point. Mm. So I'll go with half my points. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I'll take this L. Swing on the dude. All right, literally all four of you. Give oh, me four. Do we have four of us? Oh man, oh, we have no. four of us. Oh <laughs> shoot! All righty. D one hundred. D one hundred. Bless. All right, no. dude. You come to in a new, unfamiliar environment. The ceiling appears to be a nice dull gray. <laughs> you look around. You're s you're laying down on a nice spring mattress. Some springs are protruding from the surface. It creaks as you sit up in your bed. And you hit yourself on the head as you get up. There appears to be a mattress above you, actually. Doesn't hurt too much. Alright, John. What in the hell have we got ourselves into now? Uh, yeah, I was no. in. Uh, John, John, John. There was a point when I was your biggest fan, but um, you've you've really been letting me down lately. Uh, I'm sorry, John. I I mean to. He's back there, John. You're John, I'm Johnny. Let's get that straight, okay? Oh, shit, you're right. Yeah, I'm John. You're John. John E? Johnny, you're John. John, John I'm John, e. you're Johnny. I'm, I'm Johnny. Johnny. You're no, you're saying Johnny. No, it's Johnny. I'm Johnny, okay? Right, Let's try right. It. You're Johnny. It's John, Johnny. I'm Johnny. Say jolly with me, John. Say jolly. I don't have time for this. All right, John, we don't have time for this, I'm telling you. Oi. All right, I need you to pick yourself up, not hit your head again. Walk yourself over to the bars. We need to figure out what's going on. John manages to roll over on his bed and gets a look. There appears to be a very burly man sleeping above him. He rolls over to the bars, and he grabs them, begins to shake, it appears to be locked. In front of him, he can see a desk, a man sitting in a chair facing away from him, with a, a hat. He's wearing a uniform. He can identify as a sheriff, maybe, or some sort of police officer at that. All right, John, we need to establish first. Are we in Canada? Is this a Mountie? John takes a quick look around. There don't appear to be any identifying features. <coughs> Alright, John. Maybe you can call one of the guards over. We need to figure out what's going on. Am I right, John? Talk to me, buddy. Yeah, yeah. Where's that old man? But where am I? John begins to yell out, Hey! And, uh, very quickly afterwards, you can see the the man in the chair in front of you begins to shuffle. And he tilts his hat back. He turns, he cranes his head, and he looks at you. And he gives you a mean look. He's an, he's an older man, not too old. He's got graying mustache. He's wearing your local county uniform. Now you can see there's a identification badge in front of him. But uh, also from behind you, you can hear someone tossing, perhaps. You hear the, the, the squeak or the, the sound of the mattress, similar to when you awoke. Creak. Alright, Johnny. Don't fuck off. 
We need to turn around quickly. Identify this fellow in the other bunk. John quickly snaps his head behind him and he sees getting out of his bed very angry. Uh, index finger and thumb pressing against his brow. A bald man. This man is absolutely ripped. His muscles are showing. He's wearing some casual clothes. There's some blood on him. A white shirt, some jeans, and some some boots. Some working man boots. There's some paint on the tips. You can tell. It's a quick glance. He's just rubbing his forehead, and then he looks at you. A scowl splayed across his face. Oh shit, John. What have you done with this fella? What did you do to him? You must have said something or done something pissed him off. What are you How doing? Your <laughs> How does your asshole feel, Johnny? Uh, a quick inspection. Since you're currently in control, you can tell that his asshole is clenched. <laughs> This man clearly is just upset because he's in the slammer. You need to call the guard over, John. We need to figure out what's going on. John begins to call, Guard! Guard! The man sort of brushes himself off as he's, uh, he steps down from his bunk. The guard Be comes over. Him, John. Be polite, John. The, the guard also sort of chimes in. Now what you gonna do making a ruck like that? Ruckus. Alright John, you need to explain the situation. Go ahead, explain what's going on. Tell him about the other man. That uh, guy who, who is older and he switched accents quite often. Go ahead, tell him. John quickly turns away from his cellmate. Hands against the bars leads to the officer. <laughs> Look, man, there was this old man who kidnapped me. I think he drugged me, although I don't have any signs of that. He, he was trying... He, he tricked me. He tricked me into trying to convince people to get on his weird boat, and I don't know what he's going to do with them, man. He, he, he continued to explain to the officer. Uh, give me a roll. You got a lot to tell in a short amount of time, and everyone seems to be angry at you at the moment. Christ. Oh, I should have spent one. You should have, but you didn't. I did John, not. You trip over your own words. You're not able to convey the experiences of possession transfers. <laughs> All right. Give me your bets. You got anything left, dude? Uh, oh, you know what spent. I do. Only no, if you're no. playing like Doc. <laughs> I'm Don't sorry. Play like Doc. Don't kick him and kick him and kick him. Play like Doc. Bet 10 when you only got zero. Alright, yeah, Sim, you're up. No. Um, the officer comes over and he says, Now, I don't know what you're talking about, but I need you to calm down. The man behind you doesn't appear to be approaching any further. Oh, man. <laughs> John, look around you. What do you see, John? Oh, man, there's, there's an officer, some bars, and a very large man. He easily stands about five inches above you. And you're not a very short man yourself. Okay, John. I got the perfect plan for this, John. How close is the officer to you, John? Uh, the officer's about two feet. Okay, John. I want you to do something real quick. Turn around to the big guy behind you. Walk over to him. John ignores the uh, the officer's question, snaps around and approaches the larger man who looks at you very angry and he puffs his chest out. 
Grab his ass, John. Grab his ass. <laughs> Give me the roll. <laughs> Ooh, yeah. Oh yeah, very. The man was expecting some sort of punch or a shove, so he braces himself for that, and his arms are wide open as he slip around the side and get a nice firm feel. Get gentle. <laughs> yes. <laughs> as control switches over, that folks is how you want to fight. What the fuck? <laughs> Beautiful. <laughs> I'm getting there, Demi. Just give me a second. I'm scrolling. Oh. Alright. Let's see. Dude. Oh, yes. Yeah. Give me this. Give me. Oh, you're down. You're down, bitch. Give me! I want it! <laughs> give me control! It's 150. Okay, alright. Right. Damn it! Damn it. Alright, dude. The man shoves you into the cage. The officer begins pulling his guns. I now need you back away from that boy. And what you doing grabbing his ass? All right, John. All right, John. You need to plead to this officer. Tell him this man was sexually assaulting you. Tell him. Look, man, this guy grabbed my ass. And the officer says, uh, I just saw you grab his ass. What you doing there, boy? And the man is angry. He sort of starts banging you against the, the great... But the, the officer steps as I say get back, boy. Alright, John, you need to tell him you misspoke. Um, he's physically assaulting you. Tell him. Oh, uh, did I say... Ah, you get banged. Sexually, I meant physically, you continue. And the man, the officer says, Now that's your last warning, son. Back away from the boy. The man, still holding you, looks the officer in the eyes. He spits right, in the John. ground and drops you. Alright, John, this is where you find an injury. You need to pretend that you're hurt. He, this man hurt you just now. On your ankle. Uh, not your ankle, but your neck. Are you, uh, you gonna try to act your way out of this one? Um, sure. Oh, yeah. Know what that means? Come on, boy. Yeah, yeah. This is this has been a short, uh, short, uh, short life thing. All right. Uh, yeah. I tell you what, man. That was only like ten seconds. You begin groveling <laughs> on the floor. The man doesn't believe your act, but uh, he says, "Look." You, 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 there in the back, you stay back there, your hands on the wall. You there, boy. Ass grabber, boy. Get yourself up. Alright, John, this is where you play your case, okay? You only grabbed his ass so you could be someone's bitch so no one would fuck with you. Tell him. Tell him that. Um, now, look here, Sheriff. I I've seen you in the movies, right? You gotta assert your dominance, right? Otherwise, people like him are gonna mess people like me up in a way that I don't want to be messed up. And the sheriff responds. Right now, fuck. Now you're, Whoa, you're talking fuck nonsense there, him. boy. You tell fuck boy John too. I'm not R. Kelly. <laughs> Alright. Yes, we must play our case, okay? <clears throat> ask him, ask him if it might be possible that we get transferred to a different location? Or, no, not location, cell. Let's ask him if cell... Better yet, John. Let's ask him if there's a job we could do. There we go. If there's a job, perhaps we could sing gospel, or run the lunch line. I don't know what we've done exactly, but uh, let's make our time worthwhile, yeah? 
Look, officer, I'm sorry. Can you move me to another cell? No, wait, no, no, no. Let me, let me work for you. I can, I can sing, officer. I can sing so good. Just let me do that for you, please. I can do gospel. And the man looks at you and he's like, what the hell are you talking about, boy? No, fuck. We're he not pulls with out this. his John, We're not with this. Tell him, John. We're not sure. We're very scared. Tell him, John. We're just really scared of this the man officer, behind uh, us. The officer pulls out the ring keys from his, his belt pocket and is attempting to open up the cell as you, you tell him, Look, uh, look, officer, I'm just frightened. I don't know what's going on. I was kidnapped. I'm telling you, boy. <laughs> Not I'm telling you, boy. Just I'm telling you. The officer unlocks the cage and grabs your hand and pulls you outside real quick. Alright, John, you need to thank this officer. He's getting you out of uh, potentially a lot of danger. Okay, but potentially we could be getting into a lot more danger. Oh, oh thank you Ask so much, what, officer. What, what it is we could do. Tell me. What can what, we do? What can I do for you, officer? And the officer sort of breaks out his cuffs and cuffs you. He says, now boy, I, I need you to stop going around grabbing everyone's asses. This wasn't exactly a serious charge, but you're making the, the case a lot worse for yourself here. Uh, John, um, that's no problem. Like I said, we, it's something we saw in the movies where you're either the, you're either the, uh, you're the bully or you're the bitch. Make sure you tell him, John. Make sure you tell him very clearly. You very clearly explain to him the power dynamics of prison which he is all too familiar with, and he sort of nods along as like, Yeah, I saw that film too, but, uh, why do you think you're in here in the first place? You were doing that outside, I don't think you were trying to establish any sort of dominance there, boy. No, tell him, John, not, not dominance. We were not trying to establish dominance. We were trying to be protected by the big man. If we were his bitch, we were protected. No, no, he's talking about, uh, why you're even in the prison in the first place. Oh, shit. I'm not entirely sure, John. Tell him. We're not sure. Not to be honest with you, officer, I, I don't know why. He says, boy, I tell you why. You didn't grab one, but two very pleasant female rumps within an hour, okay? I got some calls, some disturbance of the local, the local, uh, the folks over at, uh, Townsend. Ah, oh, alright, John. Clearly, clearly, you've been getting a little bit out of control. Alright, we need to reel this in. We need to spread the message. We need to spread our word. Yes? You tell that man those ways are over, okay? You tell him. Tell this officer. Look, those officer. Ways are over. I swear, my. My ass grabbing days are over. I'm a reformed man. This stay here at this local prison has changed me. Listen to my voice. This is not what I sounded like earlier. And the man thinks for a moment. Says, Look, boy, I can't just let you out there. You committed a crime. You gotta serve your time or pay the fine. All right, John. You need to ask how much the fine is and how much the time is. Okay. Yeah, you you ask him. Go ahead, ask him. John asks him the details of his stay, and the man explains, "Well, this is just a holding cell, boy. You're gonna be on trial. I don't know how long. Probably a nice, pretty penny. But uh, between you and me, uh, being the sheriff of this shithole town isn't ex exactly uh, a lucrative business, if you ask me." And he gives you a nice old wink. Alright, John. You need to ask us this corrections officer. Actually, go ahead. Ask him if he's an officer or if he's a corrections officer. Well, boy, can't you read? And he points to his uniform, which gives you the answer to your question. Um, apparently, I can't read. All I can see is this picture of some bars with the hands. This is a medical question. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Are you the lieutenant? 
Ask him, John, is he the lieutenant or sergeant? Look, boy, I'm I'm a I'm a prison officer, a correctional officer, if you will, detention officer, a penal officer, a uniformed official, whatever you call me. Currently, I'm the man in charge of you. Sure, okay, John, just make sure you are trying not to tell him you are trying not to offend him. You didn't want to call him cop or pig or anything like that. You were just, you just wanted to get his title correct. Make sure you explain that, John. Yeah, John explains that he didn't want to call him a dirty fucking pig. <laughs> the man is taken aback by your, your file language. <laughs> That's not even what I said, Demi. So what does the officer say? He's just taken aback. Oh yeah, he doesn't like the way you're talking to him. John, you need to put your, your hands up in a defensive manner and say, I mean no, I meant no offense. I meant no offense. I was just trying to get your title correct. Tell him, John, quickly. Oh no, no, no. I, you. I didn't mean no offense, uh, Mr. Correctional Officer, as he raised your hands. Oh, that was a dirty bird. Oh god. That sounded, dude, hey, that sounded like a wet one. <laughs> um, I mean no offense, officer. <laughs> the shackles between your hands clank as you raise your hands in a... Um, you cross a for forum. Cool, huh? <laughs> Now, boy, I told you, if you got some cash, I'll be willing to let you walk away for now. Alright, John. You need to ask the officer exactly how much cash we're talking. He looks to the side and he pulls you over out of earshot of your cellmate and he says, uh, Well, what about, uh, what about two feet? All right, John. He either said 250 or he said 250. So you need to clarify, okay? You need to clarify. He uh, he doesn't like that you don't understand his accent. He <laughs> says once again, "Boy, I said 250." Oh, okay. He said about 250. Okay. All right, John. So uh, t I'm assuming he means two dollars and fifty cents. Obviously, John. So, you tell him in your pants pocket, you're pretty sure you've got at least a five that you... Tell him you've got five in your pocket that you can offer him. Just before, tell him you've got five. Before John tells him that he has five, he remembers that he exactly has one dollar and seventy-five cents. God damn it, John. You really let me down today. Ask him how much time we have to come up with this money. Now, boy, if you don't got that money right now, I can throw you back in that cell if you're a friend and maybe call it a night. You know, I'll be catching up on my Z's. Alright, John. You need to make sure this officer does not catch up on his Z's, okay? We need to make sure we come up with... Damn it, Sim. Don't get me going on the tree fitty. We need to make sure we can come up with two fitty, okay? Uh, can we call somebody? John, tell me, can we call somebody? John asks for his call someone. Well, damn, of course you can call someone. Everyone gets one. Why don't you call your lawyer while you're at it, boy? Shit, John, you don't have a lawyer. Come on, you're fucking broke. You don't have shit. I mean, you haven't had a haircut in... You probably haven't had a haircut in at least six months. Yeah, John's hair is noticeably longer than it should be. <laughs> uh, John, I need you to thank the officer, and then we need to go and make a phone call. But you need to think hard. Who are we going to call? Don't tell me Ghostbusters or I'll punch you in the eye. John stumbles his way over to the payphone, pulls out a quarter. He now has one fifty, and uh. He thinks about who he can possibly call. You got anyone in mind? Come up with? 
I mean, am I reaching out for a fucking lifeline? I don't know. Is this... Well, John, like many other video. people, has a mother. Unfortunately, his father is no longer in his life. He has a couple of friends. His yeah. father's a piece of shit, okay. He, he remembers the local radio. Um, the number that he would dial in for, like, lotteries and shit. That was really numbers. Purge this information from your brain. Okay, this is not pertinent. We're in a predicament. Your mother, she's clearly in Europe somewhere. Clearly Britain, based on my accent. I need to figure out what the pounds to US dollars conversion is. And your mother can send it over, yes? Tell me, John, tell me. Tell me, goddammit. John remembers that his mother is actually American. Ah, uh, yes, John. Where is she living currently? Oh, uh, in New, New West Hefshire North Street. Yes. Yes, of course. Yeah. Not too far North away from West, where you currently live. North, North West Hefshire Bridge. Or whatever you just said. But, oh, yeah. Uh, alright. What time of day is it, John? Tell me. John can't tell. It's hard to see through the cracks in the windows. He has no watch and his phone is still dead. Um, John, I'm honestly, I'm going to be a little bit level with you. I'm surprised I let you keep your cell phone. Alright. You get me off, uh, you get me sidetracked here, John. We need to call your mother. Let's call her and ask if she can post bail. Do it, John. You, uh, you, you don't, dial your mother's Don't order. explain the charges. And uh, after a moment, you think she's not going to pick up, and she picks up. Uh, Hello? Mama, is that you? Johnny! Johnny! I, I don't recognize this number. Uh, it's so nice of you to call me, and then... You have this exchange back and forth, and eventually you break the news to her that you need her to pay bail. Exactly how much info do you want to give her? Just, we just, I just need to explain to her that there's been some kind of misunderstanding. You were kidnapped, there's a lot of craziness going on, and you'll explain to her if she bails John out. Oh my baby, my baby boy, of course I'll pay you bail. I'll be right over. Just, I'm driving over right now. Thank you, mother. Tell her, John. You thank your mother. You give her a nice little kiss. All right, John. You can go ahead and make sure that the officer knows that your phone call's over, and then. Also let them know that you're going to be posting bail soon, and ask very politely, is it okay that we stay in a different cell with someone far less intimidating and crazy? Ask him, John. You, uh, you make your case to the officer. The officer looks at you and he says, well, uh, we don't got any more cells in this. Uh, it's a small little holding facility, but I guess I can uh, put you in that chair and chain you to the wall or something. There's a pipe protruding from the wall. Yes, John. Tell him thank you. If, if, even if it's a bench with a with a fucking uh, like rail that you can be handcuffed to, that's fine. Just so you're away from the crazy muscled man. Tell him. Yeah, you tell him then. It's, it's what happens. He posts you up to a nice little pole as you sit on your little wooden chair, waiting for your mother to come and pay bail. Time passes, minutes go by, and on the tenth minute, John knocks out. Go for it, dude. Oh, thank God. It's, it's, it's break time. Breaking the seal time. That's a break time. Oh, shit. <laughs> I got to like I got to like Jeez. edit this video slightly. <laughs> yeah. 
You know, if you compare uh, this John to the last John, it's a completely different fucking that's experience. That's okay. I, I, I might run out of whiskey before this drink is Drink more. Wait, shit. No, don't drink more. Pace yourself. Look, that's called running out. There's no one you want to drink. Fucking... <laughs> I've got nothing but alcohol. Alcohol. Hey guys, I think alcohol. Hello, it's pedal time. Ozum is or Osmosis is still there. He quit on us a what? long time ago. He seems Osmosis. <laughs> Reverse Osmosis. Osmosis. Awesome. He's yeah, like, there he is. Shit, he's here. I, I don't, I don't That's know okay. what's going on here. But we're no, it's okay. It's I'm okay. Out. I just want to make sure you're you're alive. <laughs> How's it going? Yes. Getting a snack? What you get? Pretty what good. you getting a snack? I, I got, I yeah, got chips. Chips? Also. What kind of chips? Just, just they, they describe, chips. describe to us the role play of eating chips. Don't do it. <laughs> it goes downhill from here. <laughs> I, I'd tell, us, tell us how you pop open the chip bag. Oh no. You walk into a tavern. <laughs> Two guys I walk into a the, bar and they both say ouch. I go I walk into a tavern and go over to the barkeep. What what'll it be for you? Chips <laughs> and salsa. You want chips and salsa? We ain't got that shit. This fucking twelve hundreds. <laughs> this is actually dark ages. We're starting a day early. What the fuck is this with you? <laughs> I've been on a quest for days to create a Dorito. No, no fuck I prefer you can store Dorito dust. There you go. You got some Doritos. <laughs> Shit. I need more drinks. <laughs> you need more yeah. drinks? Or you need oh, more drinks? Oh, 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 This is, this is oh, how I get moist. <laughs> <laughs> Admin, I mean. Whoa. Admin! <laughs> the panty wow. droppers. Thank you, Tweeter. End zone dance. <laughs> alright, 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 alright. You tell Dummy I'll be no. right back. Go piss! Like, go fucking piss, going, piece no, of shit! I went and shit. said you go. I broke, I, I broke the seal. Go piss, the piece of shit. So, so you and just pissed, piss again. now you're pissing again? Get a bottle! No. No. Like, Get a bottle, you fucking again. pussy. <laughs> I pissed oh. and I looked in the refrigerator, and that's all that was there was Arbor Mist. And you've got now you gotta piss Arbor again? Arbor Mist me with that gay shit. No, you... you <laughs> You've convinced me that I should get the Arb Mist. Do it. <sighs> just it, chug it. Just chug drink it. Plug your nose and chug it. I'm the going to. Shut up. Leave me alone. Tell him I'll be gone. I'll be right back. He's I'm here. I'm not gone. I never Gosh. left. <laughs> Fuck you. I'm either gone. Where's Demi's? Where's Demi's? Awesome. Okay. I hope you're ready for nothing but this ever. Is <laughs> no, no, in this? this, this is, is the, yeah. This is the best of B and B. We are at our peak. No, we're at our peak right now. By hopefully we are. <laughs> Doc, we are not at our no, peak right Doc. now. No, we don't. Doc, Doc, <laughs> Doc makes this. Doc would make this. We're missing the Doc. Yeah, if Doc was here, this game would be me. Much, yeah, so. He'd be like, <laughs> kick him and kick him and kick him. And then, yeah, there you go. That's Doc. What are you guys looking at in terms of points? Um, one? I think I have four. I'm winning. Wait, no! We slept! So we went two! No, 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 no. Oh, no, zero. Points. Unless points. I get that number. Points that number's make... probably fake, right? It was a no! fake number. You're the one. It's fake news. That's why I was like, let's continue, and you don't I was get so a excited, because someone else got the number. And I was like, yeah. Hmm. Wait, no, I got the number. Never mind. What's the number? You got that means... I'm, I'm at four points. points. God damn it. Sim's I'm winning. Mm, I'm at zero. Points. I'm a fuckboy. <laughs> yeah, wait, wait, wait. Times. I got that vape. Wait, oh, shit. No, vape's not a part of my objective. Damn it. It's your skill. And you, threw your, skill? and you threw your vape away, you anyways. And you yeah, your vape is broken. Your vaping you skill is not working. I was vaping so you hard, know. man. I got that good song. <laughs> Listen to the John, please. Your vape is gone. At least I'm fast. You know, I almost gave you that shot to sing Wonderwall. I was so excited. I was like, song. yes, Wonderwall. And he's like, fucking whatever else. I'm like, no. No Wonderwall. Well, I got yes. friends in no places. And All right, after. we don't need any goth books, okay? Listen to me, Matei. What do you need? Like? Oh, no, it's gone. gone. Your shit's Why gone. Why not? I'm going to sing, yeah. sing Wonderwall at some point. 
We're all back in. We're all back in. And we're back in. Welcome back, everybody. Unless TD got to piss again. Easier. I didn't have to piss in the first place. I had to. And we're back in. We passed out. No yeah, if I ever slept. don't respond, Ooh. <laughs> if I ever don't say anything to me, it's probably because I'm crunching chip. Crunch away. Crunch <laughs> away. Eat some I'll salsa. No Put one, in your mouth. No Just one needs sweat. you here. I mean, yeah, but also be crunchy. <laughs> Give me that bid for control. So we passed out, we get yes, an extra we point, do. right? Oh, yeah. Uh. This wine's so bad. You guys were wrong. Oh, that's your fucking problem, choosing that wine. <laughs> the tea. Yes. We come to. Yes, an elevator. You, you look around, you see your mother, you appear to be leaning on her shoulder. She's a bit larger than you. There's vomit on oh, her shirt man. already. She's hot. She's tell tell her you said hi. Yeah, uh, her name's Joan. And she has Joan voices. Mom? <laughs> Everybody is Joan. Hi mom. How how are you? Oh darling. How'd you get yourself thrown up in jail? Tell her, um that you try to do the right thing and uh save some in need prostitutes, but it didn't work out. Mom, look, I can explain the entire thing. There's these prostitutes, and I, I had to save them. But, uh, there's some confusion with the local police. She looks at you. She gives you a knowing look. She knows you're full of shit. She knows her son is a piece of shit garbage human being. Alright. Um. Wait, where are we? Are we going to her apartment? Ah, uh, no, honey. I had to take a little detour. Uh, it was a bit late. When I picked you up, so we're we're staying at this motel. This is a motel of a guitar. I don't think so. Is there so, a charger? Man. I need to charge my phone. Uh, I've got my charger Perfect. for my phone. Perfect. Tell your mom you've been working on a song and you want to sing her to thank her. Uh, mom, I, I've got this song that I wrote for you all I was in jail to thank you for everything you've done for me and how much I love you. Oh, sweetie, you're just the sweetest thing. You little... She pinches your cheek. <laughs> Alright. Get prepped. Get prepped, John. Get prepped. We're gonna... We're gonna be busting out them rhymes for your moms. We're gonna seduce your mom, but not in that way. You know what I mean? The elevator door opens and leads you off to the floor of your, your motel. It's a lot fancier than a motel. Oh, nice. Sweet digs, man. Maybe we can find a chick afterwards. Maybe a receptionist. What's the right, plan? We're gonna go back to the motel room. And we're gonna charge your phone. And we're gonna load up Spotify to sing your mom. You uh, you get to your room. It's a nice rundown thing. There's a hole in the wall. You can see some roaches Sweet. already. Sweet. Hold the fuck. It's a lot nicer on the outside. And uh, she pulls out her phone. And it's an iPhone 7. Oh, damn, Mom. And you pull out your phone and you have a Samsung Galaxy Note. Oh, Mom, you gotta tell, tell her she got a real nice phone. Oh, Ma, you got the prettiest phone I ever done seen. Oh, sweet, you're so kind. She gives you her charger. Oh, does it, does, is it com oh no, it's not compatible, is it? You go to plug in the charger and realize that due to differences in branding, it will not uh, work for you. Ask her if she has Spotify. Or YouTube. Uh, Mom, you, you got Spotify or YouTube? I know you follow me already, you know. <laughs> so of course, darling, I follow you, all your music. I'm your number one fan. Oh, perfect, perfect. Uh, tell her to load up a karaoke version of Wonderwall. Mom, you know that, that song I recorded back in 99? So of course, darling, you mean Wonderwall by Oasis? <laughs> she says, that's one. Can you, can you play that for me real quick? And she pulls up her ass. Of course, darling. Of course. Good, good! Oh. One sec, let me, uh... From her, her, her speaker phone, you're gonna hear the past version of you. 
Alright, Mom! Tell, tell her you're ready! You ready to sing, John? Uh, John nods enthusiastically to himself. Okay, good. I have no idea where we're coming anymore. But it's okay, we're gonna wait another four bars. Maybe two. Ready? Today no, is on. gonna be the day. <laughs> John's <sing. laughs> Realize what you got to do. Alright, so she's gonna, he's gonna serenade uh, his, his mom. I think I got serenade, I forget. Oh, yeah. Right. Roll. I have my bait, man. Oh, shoot, I don't. <laughs> 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 but I sang it. Oh, yeah, you sing to your mom lyrics that she's heard a thousand times, and she smiles along, <laughs> begins clapping. She pulls out her lighter and sort of goes back yeah. and forth. She's really enjoying it, but after a moment. After your success, the fire alarm goes on. Oh no! Get an umbrella! <laughs> you got your point. Yes! That's all I wanted. <laughs> this control switches over <laughs> the bids. Um, you got any more points for tea? None! Alright, Donald, <laughs> John, you're in control. I feel like it's been a while since you grabbed someone's ass. Oh, and it ain't going away anytime soon. John, I need you to do something. What is it? The water in the sprinkler system above you goes off, but it doesn't really. Uh, it's actually a very shitty motel. It sounds like something's spouting out, and every now and then a, some brown liquid comes out. You gotta save your mother, John. Go grab your mother's hand. Oh, Mom, we gotta get out of here. Hey, you grab your mother's hand. Take her to the men's room, John. Uh, the motel room has a bathroom. One around, or go outside, John. You leave Away your from the water. room. You look around, it doesn't appear to be any more sprinklers going off. Look down the hall, some lights are flickering. Alright, John. Now I need you to reach down and grab her ass. <laughs> Give me a roll for grabbing your mom's ass. Something in John, even though he hears you. <sighs> roll for that ass grab. Face his own will. He's sort of fighting your sway the entire time, but you are overpowering him, and eventually he grabs his own mother's ass. <laughs> Love it, John. It's okay, he's got broken arms, it's fine. She's very confused, very disappointed <laughs> in you. Johnny, what are, you, what are you doing? She slaps her hand away. That's control, goes up for bits. Any of you even have one slot, man? No. Yeah. TD has right. points. TD and Awesome, give me the rolls. No, oh, fuck you, Awesome. <laughs> I haven't been even Grab him by the ass. Oh, wait, no. Oh. Well, I'm gonna do worse than my brother. Oh! Hey. Ow! <laughs> All right, awesome. Wow, that was actually surprising. How the fuck did I do worse? <laughs> your mother uh, <laughs> really slaps your hand out of the way. She says, Johnny, what are you doing? It was an accident until your hand slipped. Uh, Mom, my, my hand slipped. Let's get out of here. <laughs> John begins to pull her along the motel room, heading towards the elevator, remembering that you shouldn't take an elevator during a fire. Uh, You're only supposed to. Stairs? Stairs instead of elevator? Probably a better idea. Oh yeah, you, you loop around, you take the stairs, there's a guy just splayed out on the ground on the second floor, blocking your path. A bottle <laughs> and uh, some sort of liquid pouring out in a brown bag. Uh, how big is he? He's a very skinny man. But he's definitely splayed out in a couple of steps. 
Alright. Never have been. Uh, it's, that's, that's, I'm gonna go up and kick him lightly. <laughs> Yeah, you give him a nice little kick, he sort of stirs, and he looks at you, he's got bloodshot eyes, he's like, what do you want? There's a fire, we need to go, you're gonna die. I ain't no... fire. He sort of sits up, and he's leaning against the pole of the railing. Come on, at least you're, at least you're up, when it starts, when it starts getting bad, you'll run. I'll just run past him. Keep going. Oh, yeah. You drag your mother by the hand down yes. the stairs. Alright. And hopefully out of the motel. Yeah, you go to the hotel in the, in the parking lot. Alright, how's it, how's it look? Pretty shitty. There's a couple vehicles, mostly run down stuff. There's a nice big old truck carrying some logs parked out taking up like three parking spots all right hmm. all right where's your car mom oh dear i didn't park here i parked a couple oh. blocks away i don't trust this neighborhood what's walk then i guess that works uh, you walk with your mother it's nice and dark outside and mosquitoes are nipping at you you can hear the crickets in the air um <laughs> honey I, you know i paid for that room right yeah but i think i think it's it's too nice of the night we gotta go out and do something right oh sweet gonna treat me somewhere i know ihop is open 24 7. yeah something like that Oh, sweet, you're so kind. Eventually you reach the car. She says, uh, she, I want you to surprise me, dear. She gives you the keys. Uh, alright. <laughs> yeah. Gets behind the wheel and then attempts to start the car. Yeah, you can start the car. Okay, I wasn't sure if that was something that had a chance of failure. <laughs> alright. And I know driving will, in fact, have a chance of failure. <laughs> I'm gonna try to... Do it. Wait, do I know this area? It's familiar enough. You passed by here a couple times. All right. It's nighttime, right? Um. Yeah. It's constantly right. nighttime. Yeah. It's never not nighttime. All right. I'll just uh. Hmm. Yeah. I suppose. Ah, uh, yeah, drive to IHOP. <laughs> oh, yeah, you begin your drive on over to IHOP. It's not too far away. The lights flash before your eyes. You can see it. It's a good sign. I don't have an IHOP map, but, uh... Oh. <laughs> I was hoping you would you have a song about pancakes. Alright. Do I need to roll for drive or no? If you're not that incompetent. If you, if you wanna, okay. Yeah, fucking, I was gonna give you a roll, but since you said something... Yeah. Eh. <laughs> navigating in the dark while driving with your mom. Very big distraction. Well, that's exactly what I expected. Oh, yeah. On your way over to IHOP... Should not have said anything. <laughs> a deer sort of runs in the road, and you being a lover of animals, swerve out of the way, and you crash into a tree. Oh god, if I go unconscious, you all get fucking points again. This game never ends. <laughs> um, your head bangs. That's a failed roll, so everyone give me your bids. Your head bangs against the steering wheel, and your vision begins to blur. Oh yeah, I got a nice old zero from someone. Another zero. Doesn't, like, half the people have no points. <laughs> yeah, this is coming to an end. Yeah. Although, I'm not sure where the beginning <laughs> ones. Alright, dude, no one else has points, I'm thinking. I, I mean... Yeah, I'll just... Oops. <laughs> that was wrong. I'll pass it to him. Dude, you're in control. Your vision is blurring, you just got in a wreck. And you're probably muted. If you are speaking, Hello? we can't hear you. 
Dude. Dude. And or do that. <laughs> he said, no nice, Mike. What does this mean? Dude. That means this is a bad mic. Dude. Your vision is blurring. You can see your mother. You turn to the side and scan your head. No, Here's no, no, no. Take it easy. Take it oh, easy. I push the wrong button for push to talk. Don't give me so much <laughs> shit. Let me give you all the all shit right. you want. Alright, John. Wake your ass up. Figure Jim. out what's going on. John grabs his head and looks around. His mother appears to be bleeding. The door is able to open when he tries it. He gets out of the vehicle real quick. He gives a quick look over as his vision begins to steady itself. You've crashed directly into a tree. There are splinters going through your window shield. There's a crack. And your mother's car is totaled. Alright, John, you need to look at your mother. John she runs over to the other side. What was that? Yeah, yeah. No, 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 I, I was trying to figure out what side she was on, but she was... Never mind. Go to the mother. Go. John makes his way over to his mother, opens the door, sees her. Alright, John, you need to assess the damage. What's happened here? John gets a nice look at her, through the window shield, on her side shards of glasses were broken, and seem to have embedded themselves in her shoulder. She doesn't appear to be awake at the current moment, her head is uh, forward, her seat belt tightened to her chest. Alright John, this is what you need to do mate, okay? You need to get the seat belt off of her, you need to wake your mother up. You need to get a cell phone, and you need to make an emergency call. All right, John, do this. Go. John manages to unbuckle your mother's seatbelt. He pulls her out to the side. He starts searching her for her phone. He finds it. He pulls it out. He taps the screen. It's locked, but luckily enough, you're able to dial 911, even if it's locked. He gives a nice little ring and they pick up. The operator picks up. This is uh this is West Hampton, Shiresville, North South, whatever, police department. Explain to them, John, there's been an accident. Okay? Your mother is not in good shape. She's not conscious, but we're trying to wake her. Tell her, John. Tell them. Tell them, John. Go, 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 Mom. She's unconscious. There's blood everywhere. There's an accident. I didn't mean it. I didn't mean it. We're at 42nd and 5th and fucking I-93, whatever. That's exactly Tell them. John describes the area he's at, describes the state of his mother, he begins to tear up a bit. Explain. Oh God, please help. Just send help. Explain to them you don't see any other vehicles on the road. Okay, John, there's no one else you could flag down for help. You need to send someone very quickly. Tell them, John. There's no one here. I need... Just please save my mom. I'm so sorry. Tell them the accident has broken your guitar. Tell them it's horrible. Splinters everywhere. Oh, God, my mom and my guitar. My guitar. Oh, shit. My fucking guitars. Oh. All right, John. They, you clearly sound like a crazy person. This is good. They'll send someone much quicker, okay? Now what you need to do is you need to slap your mother across the face. You need to wake her. Keep her conscience, okay? Do this, John. Right, you give your mother a couple of slaps. She doesn't appear to respond to the violence. Alright, John. This is going to be very difficult. But you need to attempt to check for a pulse, okay? Do this, John. Oh yeah, give me a medical check. Give you a fucking medical check. Yeah, fuck yeah. Ooh. Ain't that shit. 
So, uh, the best way to check for a pulse is probably near the injury. That's where all the blood is going, so it's probably like the, the hardest pulse there can be. You stick your fingers right in that wound. She actually comes awake and begins screaming and then goes unconscious again. His bid for control goes over. I'm guessing everyone else is rocking nice old Z's, right? I'm so mad in, my friend. I mean, I can't, I'm, I just... Yeah, alright. Awesome. Dude, give me rolls. I'm pretty sure Simmons here mm -hmm. at zero. We're doing 50. He's oh, yeah. actually doing 50. Alright, dude, Nailed you're still in control. You just yeah. fucked up that medical check. Alright, John. That was not good, okay? That was actually quite terrible. What? This is what you need to do. You just need to give us some slaps across the face. No! We've intent of hurting her, alright? You're just trying to wake her, okay? No. Try to keep a conscience until an ambulance gets here. Do this, John. I can't hear anything. Really? You speaking? Mm -hmm. Yeah, he's speaking uh, proper English, back, actually. Demi, I don't know. Yeah, Demi! Hello? Hey, there we go. Demi. Can you hear us? Are you alive? Last thing I heard was, this is us? what you need to do. Alright, John, this is what you need to do. You need to slap her across the face, not with a tent of, of hurting her, but just to keep her conscience or wake her up, actually, at this point. We need to keep her conscious until an ambulance gets here. All right, mate. Tell her, just do this. Do this now. And you go about slapping her in the face. She doesn't seem to respond to this. You look at her eyes. You seem listless, shallow breathing. All right, John. So she clearly is breathing still, and she has, she has a pulse. This is positive. What we need to do, John. Let's get out that somewhat broken acoustic, and we need to play some music that will revive her, okay? Do this, John. You go out to the back, the trunk. You know that your mother always carried around your favorite acoustic guitar. You open the trunk with the keys. You see it shattered in pieces and shambles. You pick up the pieces of your acoustic. And you sort of pinch it against your chest, try to put it together. You stretch the strings out as much as you can by pinching it under your elbow or your, uh, your shoulder or whatever. And you begin very... <sighs> as best as you can. It sounds terrible, but you begin strumming. The only tune that you know. <laughs> That's the only tune I know right now. This is so sad. Alexa, play one. <laughs> ah, damn! I have to turn music up. Hang on a second. What is it? God damn it! What tune do you know? The only one. No, I'm turning this down. All right, John. This is what I need to sing to her. You ready? Today is gonna be the day. All right, you ready? <laughs> They're gonna throw it all back to you. Are you singing this, John? John begins singing Wonderwall to his dying mother. <laughs> By now you should have somehow realized that you're gonna do. I don't believe that anybody feels the way I do about you now. Why are you singing this, John? John sings, and the scene fades to black. <laughs> Yay! Oh. Two points! <laughs> Man, fuck that song! Cause maybe... Ooh.